previously on Curse of Strahd, um, this is the short version because I want to get straight into it. Uh, you arrived at Kresk. Um, you um, ne- um, negotiated your way in. The uh, the Baron, Baron uh, Dmitry Kreskov, told you that he had a problem. Um, the last of his line, his young son, um, bollocks, his uh, son, name to be discussed in a second. <laughs> uh, I thought been, it was called Ballbag. I think it was Ilya. Hey. No, it wasn't ball bag. You, if you refer to him as a ball bag, no. you're going to get in trouble. <laughs> he, he he was raised from the dead by uh, the abbot. The abbot you'd already heard about. Um, he'd also told uh, Dimitri told you that he he'd been given or he'd got two days left to find a, dr- a bridal gown, uh, a wedding dress, um, and he uh, you know he's none the wiser as to why, and he was pretty sure this was in no uncertain terms get uh, no uncertain terms get it or i will reverse this this raised dead um so you went to the abbey you met a couple of um mongrel well, folk people people <laughs> yeah multiple yeah animal but people we have to call them that Can't, don't we have to call them mi- mixed species heritage creatures or something I mean, you raise an interesting point in terms of in terms of PC ness. Nah, fuck it, mongrel man. Okay, <laughs> it rolls off the tongue. Doesn't Thanks, it? Mark. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure there'll be an update, uh, but they're they're Bellevues. They're the Bellevue family, and made the wedding dress. Well done. Dan. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell you were doing? Oh, I did as well. Uh, and um, have you met the abbot? Um, you also met Vazilka, who was um, she was the spitting image of um, Irina. But as she got closer to you, you'd already noticed she was moving mechanically. But you also noticed that she was actually stitched together. Um, I she... didn't. No, no, no. You rolled a, you rolled a, a dirty one. A um, but what I'll do is I'll give you the description of the main hall again. So, so apologies me reading to you, but um, just to set the scene a little bit. Um, so as you entered the main hall of the Abbey, so you've got the picture of Kresk on your map tools. The Abbey is the bit on top. Um, mm-hmm. So as you step through the door, gentle, gentle sounding music trickles down from above, played on a single stringed instrument by some unseen master. The ground floor is one large 50 foot square room of arched leaded glass windows. A cauldron sits on an iron rack above the fire in a hearth while above the fireplace mantel hangs a golden disc engraved with the symbol of the sun. In one corner, a wooden staircase climbs to the upper level, while another corner, a stone staircase descends into darkness. Several chairs surround a wooden table that stretches nearly at the length of the room. Wooden dishware and golden candelabras are neatly arranged on the table, standing behind you, uh, which is a young woman with alabaster skin and dressed in a torn and soiled red gown. Her auburn hair is neatly bundled up um, so as not to touch her soft shoulders. She seems lost in her own thoughts. And the abbot is there, a handsome young man with with a brown monk's robe, gently takes the woman's hand. Um, A painted wooden holy symbol that depicts the sun hangs around from a chain uh, around his neck. Uh, He moves with the grace of a saint. As he said to you at the end of last session, um, good, e- good evening, gentlemen. Vazilka, please seat the gentleman, or please see to the gentleman, and she passes passes round goblets of wine. And then he'll say, so, what brings you to the Abbey? Are you going to get that voice up? <laughs> I'm going to try. I... Are you... <laughs> A sire, a messenger, a champion of the Morning Lord. I am indeed. How, how very astute of you. Are, are, are you the same? No, wait. He is. He points towards Jarek. We're all here to help and aid the Morning Lord, but you are for something more divine. Uh, he, uh, you, you can tell at this point that um, he enjoys his ego being rubbed, and he'll sort of square his shoulders a little bit, and he'll say, "You are correct. It is nice to be identified as such by lessers." 
Oh, I'm going to kind of glance at Nick at this point because I've got no clue what he was on about. And this wasn't how I was expecting this to start up. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jack, Jack, just kind of, yeah. kind of sidelong glance at Nick as to, what? Oh. <laughs> Are you an angel or some other being? Oh, you did your divine sense on the way in, didn't you? <laughs> Forgot about that. <laughs> he'll say, he'll say, ah, I see, I see there's no fooling you. Um, our beings is as we, I am in astute um, company. I might as well discard the disguise. And as he does so, he, he sort of grabs it, takes, goes to grab his robe. And, and instead of, instead of tearing the robe as he pulls it, and he's pulling it in a, in a tearing motion, a, a golden light appears where you expect the tear to be. And as he throws the robe back, wings are up from behind him. Um, and his his st- skin starts to glisten this this golden colour, and he's a literal angel stood in front of you. How many eyes has he got? Sorry, Ted. How many eyes? Has he got? <laughs> How many eyes? He's, he's 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 still the same Abbott, so he's still a strawberry blonde hair with this wreath around it, this glowing two golden uh, eyes, but these. The magnificent wings like proper angel to me. Has he only got two wings? Two wings, yeah. Oh. Real, well, real angels, as if there's such a thing. But uh, in the Bible, the angels always have four or six. Get away. And Is that official? Shit yeah. of eyes. Yeah. The seraphim. Yeah, they have a lot of eyes as well. Is that what you're uh, on about, Ted? I did wonder where you were coming yeah. from. I knew that it would be based on something, but uh, I didn't quite get the reference. Uh, cherubim have four. What eyes? No, wings. wings. Oh, wicked. Oh, I like a bit of a... Yeah, he actually eyes. says in um, in one episode of Supernatural, one of them, there's... there's uh, oh, I can't remember what all the archangel is, but there's an archangel, and he says, in heaven, I've got three faces, and one of them's a lion. <laughs> so, well, that, yeah, bizarrely, so... a lot of um, celestials from Mount Celestia in Planescape, they were had faces of dogs, faces of creatures, faces of... So your actual angels... <laughs> Yeah, if you look up seraphim, they don't look friendly. <laughs> you see, like an image search of them. You're like, um, ah! <laughs> what, what I'll do, I'm going to give you a little bit of map tools just to add to it while, as we get back into it. So um, t- 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 just make sure. Yeah, that'll do. I'll make pan right in. So this is, uh, this is the room you're in. Let me know when you've loaded. Nineteen of twenty-seven. I'm I'm loaded instantly. However, Ooh. changing the map did black out my uh, thing. Oh, it's because it was one from last session okay. that I'd already loaded. Right. Yeah. Um, I'm in. Yeah. So what you've got in front of you? Let me just give you. I'm going to make the the what he is. You you would probably be able to identify. Um, he is an angel. Like I say, he's a, a diva. Diva. Yeah. Okay. Um, so um, that's we were going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but this is this is the um, the fan art I managed to find of the abbot, and that's his mm-hmm. face. That's what he looks like. Um, on, Roman. Oh. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. But this is it sort very of, Julius Caesar. Or how it, I it imagine does, Julius but his Caesar eyes look. is what I was going for, and because I, 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 I um, yeah, searched Google the, eyes, the yeah. abbot. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of. In fact, no, I'll keep I'll get rid of the, the diva for now because um, um, he, he sprouted Mariah. these wings. Right, yeah. happy. Get back into it. Yeah. So these wings, and you can tell. And he, he's, he's looking now, and he's looking up to the ceiling as he spreads his arms, and he takes a great lungful of of air, and he'll say, "Oh, that does feel good." Yep. <laughs> so. I believe introductions are in order. Am I correct in thinking that Celestials are not ever evil? Um, you could have a religion check, Mark, if you wish to try and... Oh, have a little go, have a little um, go. I don't know I if I'm trusting my to oh. reveal myself as a pit fiend. So, <laughs> hey, hello. Uh, right. Yes, go I'm on, Ted. I'm a druid. Yeah. You're going to reveal as a pit fiend, this is going to be a good fight now, Dan. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I'm Fester, nice to meet you. Oh, what a roll. 
Might as well start well. No, I'm going to clue, mate. I no, you haven't got a clue. Uh, well well, well met, Fester. <laughs> uh, and to your colleagues. I'll introduce myself. Yeah. Nick. Politely. <laughs> Go on, then. Turns and our mysterious friend with the uh, the hood up. What would your name And be? the dribble patch on his... <laughs> He's, he's talking to Rocker. He's looking right at Rocker. Could have poked Rocker in the ear. <laughs> <laughs> We're all looking at him. You meant to introduce yourself. Yeah, no, I heard about introducing myself. I was reluctant to. I was hoping Dan was going to do that. But what did you say, Dave, that he's uh, looking at me? And, uh, and and who, he basically says, who, who are you? Oh, but I want the original version. You said something yeah, mysterious. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And the our mysterious hooded. Get to the end. <laughs> Long story short, too late. <laughs> oh man, don't put me on the spot like that. Um, What's your name? Say your name. <laughs> I am Rocker. Forgive our friend; he's a bit confused. Are my companions. <laughs> well met. You have Rocker. nothing to fear of him. Um, you can see he yeah, sort of he, he uh, uh, yeah, well, he, and then he moves on to Jarek and he'll say, "And greetings, my son. Morning, Lord bless you." Uh, I'll nod respectfully, but I'm a, I'll say just a, a little bit shell shocked as to what the hell's going on here. <laughs> Excellent, um, but I'll, I'll nod respectively, uh, respectfully. Sure. Um, so he'll uh, um, and once again, if you don't mind me asking, I'm, I'm sure that. But everyone other than Nick, my uh, my appearance must be quite alarming to you lesser mortals. But tell me, what no, can I do you, for you? If you look like me, you're not very scary, don't worry about it. Honestly, pal, I've been teleported by a goose. It changes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> never quite the same again. <laughs> We've seen some shit. <laughs> <laughs> I managed to step over it, but but he did. <laughs> I, I honestly can't remember why we're here now. <laughs> why aren't we delivering wine? No, we're, we're, oh, wedding dresses. Well, I mean, well, the, just just out of game. I mean, the main point of coming here was to investigate what the hell was the deal with him because he wasn't aging more than anything else. Work that bit out. That bit was yeah, that yeah, that's a bit obvious now. Um, <laughs> I mean, the only other thing I specifically wanted to come here for was that um, poem thing I found, which I can't, I've got it recorded on somewhere on my character sheet. Um, but I wasn't just going to walk the ground until we'd met the guy first. But I've not really got anything directly to ask him because I feel we need to have a discussion <laughs> before we start asking too much of him. I mean, Nick would then kind of, seeing that he's burst into angel form, presumably... Strahd's vis vision doesn't reach in here. It, you, it, that's what you're saying to him. Yeah, yeah. He will say, "Oh no, Lord, Lord, Lord Strahd, it does visit occasionally. He hasn't visited for ooh, perhaps, perhaps twenty odd years now. But no, he is he is the Lord of the land. He is the ancient. He is the land. He is everywhere. How did you get here? This is a horrible place." I, oh, it's a long story of four, five hundred years ago. We've only ago. got to half ten. <laughs> four, five hundred years ago, the there was a re revolt. This is the Abbey of St. Markovia. So, uh, uh, Markovia herself tried to rally the troops and uh, defeat Strahd uh, before he turned into a, the, the, the vampire he is today, but um, she was unsuccessful and the Morning Lord sent me to intercede, but obviously... There's no killing the, the the lord of the land. He, he is he's too powerful. Uh, but the reason I was brought here was to 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 make um, Saint Markovia's sacrifice uh, not not go without um, uh, any recompense. So I mean, my I'm basically here now to try and end the. The Strahd's curse, which is which is why uh, Vazilka step forward, my dear, and Vazilka steps forward now, too. which is why um, my genius 
uh, in my genius, I've decided to create Bazilka and present him, present her to Strahd. I just need a wedding dress so that they can be. Married. It's not Irene. It's, it's, I don't know because I wouldn't need all this. She looks Irene. exactly the same as Irene. She also looks the same as the picture that you saw in Castle yeah. Ravenloft. How did you get someone to look so much like her? Was that magical manipulation, or have you killed someone we know? Oh, no, not killed anyone recently. I've not had any means to, but she is a construct of sorts. I've a oh, bit, bits no from here, a bit from there. Is the face all one, Dave? Or is the stitching down there where it's been sort of you, packed up? You... While you're chatting to him and Vazilka's moving backwards and forwards, um, you you can see that it's very, very cleverly stitched together. This is you, you've, I mean, you, you men of action, you've seen stitches before. You've probably all got more than your fair set st- uh, set of stitches. This is incredibly fine, detailed work, but you can can still see stitch work. Um, a lot of it is healed over. A lot of it, she's she's sort of wearing like. Um, uh, you know, make up to try and disguise some of it. Uh, but she's... I'll, I'll say to him, I said, this is, is some impressive work. I'm really impressed. So again, <laughs> you're rubbing his ego. Easy, but... He sort of says, sort of, yeah, well, yes, it is. But thank you. So that, how, how does the bride, how is the bride to break the curse? The curse is the bride. It's the curse of Strahd is to be... To be Taunted endlessly by this form, and he points towards Vasilke. So, in like I say, in my genius, I am going to present his deepest desires, but it needs to be done properly. With with you being clearly a good sewer, did you not think about making a dress yourself? I'm oh. sure it would have been beyond spectacular. Unfortunately, the materials are not available. I I have uh, asked the burgmaster uh, to present um, the a, a, a gown within two days. I believe he's got left. Otherwise, I shall wipe him out and his lie. I'll say <laughs> he's he's worried about being able to do that. Do you know? You know, we're prepared because he's been good to us. We're prepared to do him a favour. If you can tell us where we need to go to get the material for you, we'll go and get it. The burgomaster's terrified and stressed. He doesn't know how he's going to do it. He doesn't know what to do. So, you know, we've said we'll we'll happily do it. But if you can if you can help us out a little bit, we'll we'll go and see what we can do. Uh, well, I believe the the materials would be available in Valaki, but. It's still only two days. Well, we can ride to Valakian, but if we can ride to Valakian back, we can get you the we can get you what you need. So you would you would know that you'd properly have to get a wriggle on. Um, you'd have to use a lot of of your uh, magical resources to peg it to Valaki, and you'd get there. Let's let's assume that it's night now. And they, you, you, you've got two days after this. So if well, you set I'll just off, I'll up to the group now. So what shall we do? What shall we do, chaps? And just throw it open because I don't know. How fast is this. a dragon? I like where he's going. A dragon would be pretty quick. <laughs> I like where he's going with this. Oh, we we had a dragon. <laughs> we won't be able to go on it though. No, we only need one person to go. And. <laughs> um... Well, can I... Do have anyone that can do sending to get the things prepared? At this point, I'll kind of introduce and, and, and ask, you know, respectfully while still being cautiously, if um, we could possibly take a walk around the round while we, while we discuss as a group whether or not this is something we could assist with. Well, by all means. Would you would you care for a tour? I'd, I'm quite happy to. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, Come quite on. happy to walk around... No, quite up to all ourselves. We want to just discuss among our group as the best way that we can as to what to do with this situation for yourself. Well, oh, my my home is your home, gentlemen. Uh, should we play the mark game? Uh, awesome. Awesome. Sorry. 
What did you go with? Awesome. awesome. Shuffle the squirrel. Shuffle. Squirrel. Oh, wait a minute. Are you having shuffle or squirrel, Jim? Which one? You only pick one word, man. It's either squirrel or shuffle. Shuffling the squirrel. All oh, right. Squirrel then. Squirrel. I'll take I'll take shuffle just to make it a bit risky. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with um, sprout. Sprout. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So he's Sticking with possum, but aggravate for another. Oh. <laughs> Uh, he's quite happy for you to uh, to go where you please. Um, so that um, uh, uh, yeah, uh, where do you want to go? Well, just before we leave, I'll just ask him: is, is there anywhere that he that is not out of bounds, but you know, with it being an abbey of, of, of social, is there anywhere he doesn't particularly want us to be going? I uh, I would stay away from the other wing if I were you. I do have other uh, constructs there guarding the mongrel folk that are I'd be less than successful in curing. So, um, if if you wish me to give you a guided tour, I could come with you and show you the facility. But um, I wouldn't go in there without me. Okay. Oh, so stay away from the well. One of them, one of them got out, and she's very angry. Okay, thank you. Um, um, this this is not being said in front of anyone. This is kind of random. Did you, in character, work out that you were cursed, or did you not work that out yet in character? Um, at this point, Jarrett's got an inkling that something's not right, but we've only slept once to, for him to really work out what it's all about. He knows he's not. He knows he's had a really rough night's sleep. So, the uh, thing you noticed that he looks rough as fuck. Not yet. No, um, it's only been one night. And, and I'm ex-soldier, so I'd be used to long nights and no sleep. So, yeah. Um, right. So as we get away, I mean, I'm going to kind of try and guide the party back out the the door into the grounds. Yeah. Um, and suggest that you know, while we're probably still in the hit, I don't know, are we still in a shot of the abbot yet, or have we get we? He, uh, I mean, you, you get the impression from him. Uh, um, I mean, just just to to clarify the position with with the abbot then. So he he is. Uh, I mean, older than old. So he's an immortal being. Not only, uh, I mean, you'd sort of discuss this between yourselves. Not only is is he immortal, as in he's going to live forever, but he's also probably existed since before space time on on any of your prime material planes. This is probably the most powerful, certainly oldest power that a lot of you have ever uh, come into contact with. Um, but he also seems very vain um, and fixated on his on his task. And now he yeah. knows you're here. You know he's not a threat to you. He, he knows your business. He's quite happy to just carry on. And he seems to be teaching Vasilka etiquette. And he's telling her, "No, no, dear, no, my dear. It, the the fish fork goes next to the scrotum fork, and and <laughs> you know weird shit like that." Yeah. Ooh, what the hell kind of meal are you going to? Oh, I don't know. It's just made me cringe a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah. the main reason I wanted to drag away to talk among the group, because obviously since praying to the Morning Lord and Lathander, I've had a, a bit of more knowledge on those. So how much knowledge am I allowed to use from what I know, Dave? <laughs> um, what, uh, are we religion check then? Just, um... Yeah. So, I mean, well, I can tell, I can tell you the bits that I know about Lathando, or or what, and then you can tell me what I'd know from that. Or give yourself a D four. <laughs> I don't know you're doing it, so I can't. Well, help. I mean, you're you're a cleric of the Morning Lord, mate, so you'd know. Well, I'm a cleric of Tear that's currently pledged to the Morning Lord from my service. Yeah, so it is going to have to be a religion check, dude. Yeah, that's what I mean. And obviously, I, t I got some books and stuff from brother from the priest back in Balaki. Balaki. So you can and have advantage me... then, mate. Yeah. Yeah, so he gave me he gave me stuff and everything to read up on and everything. Um, and I have seen him reading a lot. Yeah. I've seen I'm, him like that. Right. I'm, I'm going to hit myself with that um, advantage on it as well. So religion, uh, well, not with advantage, with uh, guidance. So, in fact, last night he didn't sleep; he just read. <laughs> yeah. I spent all night purple. So only a, only a twelve. Only a twelve. Um, so, uh, Morning Lord uh, Lathander specifically 
what do you know about the thunder then let's apply it to you. well i don't know do, do you want to do it in here because if i say it everyone knows it or um well um let, okay no, no no so with with a 12 you would know that he is um a, a known compadre of or compatriot of tier and helm um you know that he is the god of uh the dawn the morning lord um the morning lord himself the reference to the morning lord all you've ever heard in barovia is the morning lord and you from your own knowledge of the pantheons of faerun of of thought it sounds like lathander with a 12 you you find it entirely reasonable that he would possibly send one of his uh angels to make sure a sacrifice hasn't gone unpunished um is there anything I else i just going to text with a bit that i'm thinking of in my head as to what feels off here but wicked okay uh, you... i do love D, D with technology yeah it makes it easier to as i said otherwise if i say it outright everyone can then use this to color their thoughts but from okay um the okay um what i'm, I'm gonna say this out to you then no that's fine so what adam's just text is uh the and you would know this so the thunder has a distaste for uh undead and an intolerance of evil um so the actions of the diva seem against this kinder there's no one dead here Nothing is um, um, so you would know this from liaising with Nick. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not that it's the threatening of the family and the yeah the threatening to watch that yeah. line. Yeah, that, so, that's there's a lot about him that seems like as it could be just he's been here so long and he's gone a little bit right. cuckoo. Right. So stuff doesn't quite feel how I'd expect a, a diva of the Morning Lord to be. Okay, you've deduced that as Adam the player, and I'm quite happy for Jarek the character. To have also deduced that without a, a, a role. I mean, that's the, the joy of D D, isn't it? So, yeah, he's properly bonkers. Yeah, and that's what I want to draw everyone's attention to. That no matter how he comes across, I mean, I've never encountered him either before. But what he's saying doesn't quite feel within the. It's a loose interpretation of the tenets of his faith. <laughs> Does he sound a bit mad? Yeah. So we just need to be very cautious. Yeah. <laughs> Because if, if, if he is mad, it wouldn't take a lot to potentially cause a problem. I mean, we seem to have done well so far. He seems quite happy with us. <laughs> but that's just what I wanted to... I wanted everyone's attention on that before, while not saying that in front of him. <clears throat> got to cure everyone's madness. There's too many mad people in this plane to cure everyone's madness. I thought, I thought I'd like to ask him about my patron. If he's, if he's existed forever, I don't know anything about him. And I except that I've very brief bits that I've read. And I, w I wouldn't mind asking him if, if he has any knowledge. Uh, sure. So as as the rest take a tour around the grounds, Axacast hangs back a little bit. And he looks up from teaching visitors. Oh, yes, Axacast. Did, did you want something of it? Let's say, uh, as, as you've you know, been around literally forever, the only oh, being God. I've ever... I've ever had dealings with that's older than yourself is the, my patron, um, Yog Sothoth from the Far Realm. I know nothing really of his motives or anything. I've wondered if you, know, you with your in, almost infinite wisdom, and I'll stroke his ego, uh, you know, would you have any, any knowledge that you know, may be useful? Yorks of Thoth, yes, indeed. He's uh, uh, a, um, an elder. They're described as elder evils from the far realms. This is interesting, indeed. And you can see he's, he's looking at you. And the way he looks at you now is almost as if he's looking into your soul. Oh, yeah. How curious. It appears that Yorks of Thoth has granted you divine abilities. You have the ability to cure. How I do. Is. He's not all. He's not all. He, one thing I've managed to ascertain about him is he seems to be everything and nothing at the same time, which makes very little sense. I'm aware, 
but the fact that he's granted me healing powers suggests that he's not all bad. But well, that's though, all I can. There are many that would dispute that, including myself. I'm afraid they, the elder evils, their designs are incomparable, even to the likes of me. Um, unfortunately, I can't give you any more advice than that, but... It... Thank you. I still know a little more than I knew before, so thank you very much indeed. Oh, well, please uh, be careful with your dealing. It's, it seems that... All, you see, always. Yes. <laughs> very good. Very good, very good, very good idea. Um, well, thanks again. And catch up uh, with the others. So yeah, so um, walking around the grounds, then Adam, that's where you're heading. To, you're heading towards your. Oh well, yeah, I mean, um, I definitely want to have a moot around. So I want to see if I can find this grave that was referenced. I found the I found the text on the item. I put it on there. <laughs> it's taken me a while, but um, so I'm hunting for. I mean, I'll mention this to the others if they want to help me. If not, but I'm hunting for a grave that's got. Well, it says roses that will never die. So I assume carved roses. Uh, yeah, it's. I mean, it's quite obvious as you walk around the south side of the building. Um, there's. Uh, I'll read the description to you once I've burped. Excuse me. Um, stunted pine trees grow out of the rocky earth in the graveyard near the foundations of the abbey's north. Well, it's not. It's the, not it is the north wing, but this is around the south. It's one of those maps that's on the Oki, which always annoys me. Uh, the windows of the structure are cra uh, la, 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 ancient gravestones birthed from the th thin crust of snow on the graveyard. Um, so you, as you get closer to the gravestone. It's carved with roses, and there's a three-inch diameter of a sun-shaped indentation on the side of the grave. The name on it says Petrovna. Just from looking, does that indentation look like it would fit the holy symbol it that's got this text on? Yeah, looks exactly <laughs> like it would fit. I, I will. Place it in and go for it. I mean, it's, it's yeah. Sure. So, um, I'll, I'll suggest people stand back just in case. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, as you place it in and jump back, a ray of golden sunlight breaks through the clouds to the west of the shrine and upon the grave. The fog and the gloom shrink from its brilliance as the sunlight causes the gravestone to crack and crumble, revealing a ring within. Peace. And as quickly as the sunlight came, and bearing in mind this is the first time that you've seen sunlight in Barovia, other than when when, when we, we did that thing with the vampires spawn, but don't mention that. Um, yeah. So the first time that you've seen sunlight in Barovia, it's just, you're drawn towards it. It's like, oh, wow. And then as quickly as it, it comes, it goes again. Well, well, I'll take the ring, but I'm not putting it on until we work out what it is. <laughs> Sure. Pass it me and wait 10 minutes. I'll tell you exactly what it is. Uh, I'll do an, an underarm, underarm throw to Axe Cast. <laughs> I'll, I'll sit down and for the next 10 minutes. Well, down the well. Um, I assume you lot will wait for me. <laughs> uh, so the, then I'll... Yeah, 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 no problem. I'll do, uh, uh, the, the, the ring itself is it's um, a, a wooden band um, with what looks like vines and leaves engraved on the outside of it. Um, and. Um, uh, after Axacas has cast his identification, it is a ring of regeneration. Oh my god, that Ooh. is so powerful, it's unbelievable. Is that, right, it's gonna, it's, I, I would say is that that's pretty much still not, the same as it used to be. In unless like, they've nerfed it. I don't know. <laughs> not looked um, at them so, um, you I gain, a ring of regeneration. You gain 1d6 hit points every 10 minutes, provided you have one hit points. If you lose a body part, the ring causes the missis, missing part to grow back um, and fully uh, to full functionality after 1d6 plus 1 days, uh, if you have at least one hit point. Wow. So it's not as good as it used it to be, and it's still fucking good. Is it attunement? It is attunement. Mm, we can't just pass it round to heal up. No. So. Well, I'll be I'll be trying to tune that next time I rest. It's <laughs> more than the average hamster. You can attune over a short rest, so we're good. It's not. I'm just can't have a short rest. I'm just curious about Adam. 
rest. I get you no benefit from anywhere. Either. Not just during the night. Okay. No. Well, I, 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 yeah. Yeah. That's just, yes, for short rest during the day, it's okay. So we'll find out if next, I'm not saying we need to short rest now. It's not something we need to attune to now. Because you say it's nearly, it's, it was coming up to night time, wasn't it? Yeah, I I believe so. I I should probably start making notes about time of day, but yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, I, I mean, I, I, I would say that the uh, the tanky person's probably the, it, well, it makes sense to me. The tankiest is the person who wears that ring, so it's probably going to be Adam. I reckon. Well, it was kind of gifted to me by Lathander. Ah, sorry, I didn't even realise that. <laughs> that makes, uh, it makes sense that he gave it to you. <laughs> <laughs> so while while we're on the subject, you you, you can, uh, strictly speaking, you can long rest during the day. Yeah, but, but the we problem, don't know yet. Yeah, but the, prob the problem we had is you did a long rest during the night, the night before. So you can't, you've not been able to long rest during the day today. At night time, as long as you keep yourself active and don't go for a long rest, you can, in theory, have eight hours long rest during the day tomorrow, and you you, you would benefit from it. Yeah, uh, but I we think don't. You, you, I, I believe you rolled really well to discover that. We we did. It's just I, I didn't know how we would interpret that from me just getting it from a single night's sleep. Yeah, gotcha. Okay. Because that, because we, it was a case of me and Dan deduced it. We rolled. Yeah, it was, we, well, originally we did the roll, and then you retconned it, and then the werewolf was up all night. Yes, and that is what threw Adam off. Of originally yeah, when we were at the end of the session, he took us back a night. <clears throat> right, so, what, what? so yeah, yeah, his dreams being played with howls of wolves then turned into well, yeah, there was one upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll I'll turn to um, to Nick and say, okay, you mentioned dragons. What's let's work out what we're going to do here. Yeah, it, yeah. I'll say I'm I'm not against helping the diva. I just want to everyone to be clear that it doesn't quite feel like it's right. As I said, from what I thought, a diva would just outright challenge Strahd, not be. Yeah, it's it's clearly not quite right. I mean, it's uh, I believe that thing. To, I mean, it was, if we've confirmed from our paladin here that it's not undead. Um, it must be a construct, um, yes. which means that doesn't go against you know the the loathing of undead. It isn't undead. Yeah, but... he's he's celestial. I didn't pick her up as undead fiend or celestial, so she is something. Golem else. must be a golem. Got to be a golem. Um, which isn't undead. So I mean, that's that's one thing. But we we've it's still got the undead. weird threats to the family. You know, the weird threats to the family and the it's, yeah. That doesn't feel right, and the fact he's not directly, he's having coming up with some weird plan to deal with Strahd doesn't strike me as well. I understand what he's trying to, he's trying to break the curse, which would mean maybe, you know, Barovia would become a nice place, who knows? Possibly. I certainly don't. So I, th I think his intentions may be good, but he does seem, yeah, I think we just have to be really careful. But we, if we're going to get this dress, we need to... Yeah. Really, yeah, really work out how we can get someone. It doesn't have to be as all. all we need to do is go to a shop, you know, stick money in the, uh, the party treasure, give it to the person who's going, um, and, you know, try and take it from there. I mean, one thing that is a possibility is, obviously, I have a horse. Jarek is the one that has the ability to send messages to people so could send a request to Valaki to have it ready for us. Yeah. And Ted could become a horse. There is a potential that three of us could full full speed to Valaki whilst you two stay with your new charge. Well, Ted could be a I'm bird. sure you two also wouldn't want to leave. And whatever. Ted could be a bird and scout, scout the road for you, make sure you weren't going to get ambushed or something. Well, it was more if me and Jarek are going... Garrett would need something to ride because if there's two two full ah, armored course, men yeah. on my horse, I don't imagine full speed is what I we'd get. The, ho the horse might want to kick off. Yeah, <clears throat> uh, you need to be level eight as a druid to fly, I believe, as well. Yeah. Mm. So that yeah. is right. While we're we finalizing that, I'm just going to go and evacuate the um, the old edible walrus plant, and I shall be back in a moment. 
How are we meant to get these? <laughs> well, this is this is this is why I'm enjoying <laughs> enjoy the game. Here's the question, though, Dave: Would you have accepted Walrus, or is it Walrus Plant or Bust? Um, I'd have I'd have expect accepted Walrus or Plant or Walrus Plant. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> so, are we not trying to contact the dragon? Well, that's the thing, because the dragon's the better one, because the dragon will kill someone one safer. If that's, I think that's the better plan, with the riding the horses being this backup one. We don't yeah. want to be setting off till the morning anyway, because we don't want to ride at night. So that gives us tonight yeah. to try and get in touch with the dragon to see if that's an option. So, yeah, it was kind of the dragon is the best option, but it's out of our control, whereas the horse option is completely within our control. So... Do you think you can get hold of a dragon in a night, Ted? Possibly. That, well, that's the thing. If you can get hold of the dragon and he's not too far enough away, that's easily the best plan. Although, I mean, probably I mean, don't land in the middle of town with him. <laughs> I need some reasonable rolls on my... Uh, yeah. And some crows. Well, ravens. Well, we've, we've got... So do we want to have a, a proper nose around the Abbey first, see if there's anything else, or do we want to just leave the Abbey until we've really got this crazy lunatic on our side? I mean, in all fairness, speed is off the essence, so I should probably be uh, trying to we, send birds off yes. as soon as. Yeah. Well, you're, uh, you're, so, you're outside. While Jarek's doing his thing with the Wasset, you spot ravens. One comes up to you and sits on your shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> I will call you Jemima Beaky. <laughs> they just came to investigate the sunlight, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, so I'm going to need to speak with animals, aren't I? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we'll have, we'll have that. Um, I will ask him to spread word that we are in need of our uh, it was blue dragon, wasn't it? Yeah, Tethex. Our uh, young blue dragon friend who's off with one of the ravens that was accompanying him. Because that sounds like a buddy movie I want to see. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Be Beaky, Beaky nods uh, in acquiescence and, and nicks off. Um, mm -hmm. And the response uh, is uh, as, as, as fast as we can. Um, yes. yeah. The best you can do for now. So what, what else? Uh, oh, in terms of in terms of the rest, I'm quite happy to clear up. There's there's an upstairs. There's a there's a cellar. There's not really anything of interest. Um, there's one occasion as you're looking upstairs. In uh, this is yeah. So the, the other the other wing. There's two stories to each. Um, uh, each wing, um, uh, the the wing you're in, there's another mongrel folk upstairs um, playing a one-stringed uh, viol. I think it is. Uh, but this this guy's probably weird. weird. He's got weird. he's got a sort of a like a, a, a satyr face uh, with a crab claw, and he's using this to pluck. And the the other. Uh, hand, and then there's like next to it, there's like a baby's face growing out of it as well. It's nice. Like, it's like Quato, but uh, uh, on his shoulder instead of his. Where did you get the crab from? Your mind. <sighs> Who knows? He's a strange guy. A crab. There's but the uh, the abbot has warned you away from going to the hospital wing. Did did you want to go to the hospital wing? I personally suggest not if we're trying to not. Well, uh, with a baby. That sounds you know, like you there. want us to go there, Dave. What, what's... This guy's not in it. <laughs> um, when I did the divine sense in the abbey, yeah, did it come up that it was hallowed ground? <sighs> yes. Uh, we've also got hallowed ground as another. Potential to see if we can stay there as. Hold up, no. Um, I beg your pardon. Um, Affected said... by the hallow spell is what it specifies. Yeah, no. Um, not not. Uh, no, it's not, not hallowed ground. ground. No. 
Yeah, it's yeah, no, 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 no. Also interesting, a place where an angel is living isn't hallowed. Oh, well, there you go. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking, is it automatically hallowed? Because I wasn't sure, but no, it's not. That. Um, there, I mean, there's a, there's a garden. You can tell, like most of Valaki, um, it's, it's self sufficient. So there's a garden with growing beets and uh, chicken coop and th- things like that. Uh, but all the time, there's the toll of the bell every now and again, and the screaming of the the mongrel men that are clearly <laughs> insane. Um, so what what direction? I mean, the, the, you you wait a couple of hours well, as you, as you're looking around. There's still no reply from the raven. Uh, what do you want, what else do you want to do? I think um, part of it tonight was getting the rest, wasn't it? Unless anyone else was yeah, only obviously somewhere to have a rest. Myself and Jamie only need four hours, don't we? Mm-hmm. So if I I appear to, to first... have full everything except charges on my staff. Have we done anything since? The staff doesn't rest. auto fully recharge, though, does it? You roll no, the dice to see how much it recharges. Uh, yeah, but it's, it's two, I mean, I'm five charges down, which is one lightning bolt, I think. <clears throat> um, and it gains 2d8 plus four charges at dawn. So I can't fail to get less than six, but it's only... Sorry, sorry Ted, what were you saying? Uh, I was just thinking that if I have the first four hours and leave JMO to watch out for the uh, Raven and then the second four hours he has, and I'll be awake to watch the Raven. Gotcha. Okay. Um, yeah. In terms of in terms of some, somewhere to sleep, there, there. Um, I mean, the, if you mention it to the abbot, he will say, "Oh, you please feel free." I mean, he doesn't need to um, eat, sleep, or any of that nature. He's uh, upstairs. Um, there's sort of this, the, the the bedding of the. Um, um, the uh, col- uh, Cloven Bellevue is upstairs. Um, he's he's drunk, um, uh, but he can share. His, there's enough place to put your bedrolls there. But um, Kellen, your little uh, miniature werewolf friend, is in the village mm. of Kresg, being looked after by uh, Dimitri Kresgov. Yeah, I was going to go and I'll go and visit him just to check he's okay and make sure he's. He's got food or whatever. He was chained up in the basement, wasn't he? He was, and that was a house that was that was that was sort of given to you. This was, uh, if if you recall as well, obviously. But I oh, know you don't. Know, it's, it's like a month since we played again. But w- when you arrived in Kresk, the, the burgomaster let you in, and he wanted you to help him. And in return, you told him about um, Kellen. He he said, "Yeah, well, I'll do this for you." Um, but you know, this is goes against everything that this village has stood for. But he's desperate. This is the 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 abbot is going to wipe out his hen- entire line, and his line is for uh, four five hundred gen- four five hundred years old, and his only way to keep his line going is for this uh, what's it uh, bridal gown to appear. So she will take it back to the village if you're going to go back to visit. Um, so as you arrive, the Baron's waiting for you, and you can see he's he's just been downstairs to make sure Kellen's all right. And he comes back up, and he'll say, "Oh, um, I'd, I'm glad you've returned. Obviously, you, you're all in one piece. Um, Kellen's he's fine. He's fine. I've I've, I've 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 thrown him I've thrown him like eight bones. He's just gnawing on them. He has he has properly wolfed out, but no, he's he's fine. Please tell me that you've managed to help in some way." <laughs> We've, we've, we've sent a message. We are trying. We're trying to sort it out. We're 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 on it. Um, so keep, you know, keep your fingers crossed, and we we will be all right. Uh, he, he looks properly nervous. He looks panicked by this, and he say, and he'll say, I, I, how are you? What are you planning to do?" We've got an ally that can fly. We've sent out word, and we're going to try. And one of us will fly down to get the materials that we need. And that was, we, do. You know, we can get there and back pretty fast. We do have backup plan as well, though. Yes. Okay. 
sl slightly uh, tired and uh, short, short patience, Jarrett will, will say to the, do you know what the abbot is? <laughs> well, I know he's going to wipe out my line. I know he's going to, my son is raised from the dead and he's going to kill him again. Me and uh, the, the village relies on us to keep them safe. There's nothing we can do about this. Whatever he is, is not good. And he's threatened my line. Yeah, that's the, that's the big thing that's bugging Jarrett. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Plus, he can construct a human being, but he can't make a wedding dress. Mm. Everyone's got different skills. Yeah. There's, well, like, like you said, though, Jim, there's no materials. There's nothing around here that would. Uh, he, he, had he had a graveyard. He had plenty of materials for the girl. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, what did he use to stitch her up with? That sausage. Well, there's there's got cool. there's there's gotten things and <laughs> but there's there's oh, not okay. there's no silk. Yeah, yeah. A remarkable lack of cats in the village. Yeah, um, yeah which, uh, I'm thinking of. Uh, Black Adder's uh, robes of state there. <laughs> oh, look, we've a little collar zone. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he's, he's still, and he's just, right, okay. I, I, I don't know what to do. I genuinely don't know what to do. My, my wife is ready to ride in the middle of the night, of a Barovian night, to Valaki to plead with... Um, yeah, do that. To the, to the Baron. How horses have you got? That changes things. We've got one Do horse. You have horses. You, you've got one horse you could spare for us to. No, we have one horse, not spare one. And this is this is a, a, a horse that we use to plow the fields. This this is instead of your wife it's riding to Valaki. Is it an extra horse for us to ride to Valaki for you? Yeah, but if it's a plough field horse, it's going to be roll, roll, yeah. roll persuasion for that then, Dan. Let's have a let's have a yeah. plough horses aren't known for their running oh, ability. No, twenty-three. He'll say, "Yeah, okay, yeah." Um, the other thing, he'll, and he'll say, "What? Um, did, did I don't did 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 you ask if you can have more time?" Would that be an option? We didn't actually. He, ask, did we? he didn't imply time was something he was willing to to change the terms of. Okay. We said two days isn't much, and that seemed to uh, seem to enjoy that almost as if it was a test. Cool. See, this is my point. Uh, he'll say to you this. Okay. Okay. I am putting my line in your hands. I will do what you think best. You can <coughs> take the horse if you need to. Whatever whatever I can give you, I will. All right. <clears throat> If we still is there still no sign of the raven? Then I take it. Yeah, it'll take longer than that. Yeah. No. So, are we intending to ride at first light, basically? Yeah. Do we also want to go back to him and see if there is a time extension we can get? Yes. I realise we did forget to ask for a time extension. Wait, I'm not good. I, this isn't being admitted to him. This is kind of as we leave. Yeah. Going, he makes a good point. We could have asked for a time extension. Yeah, even if it's just a day. <laughs> so uh, back, also, back, back to the Abbey then. Uh, sorry, Ted, go on. I'm also guessing that um, him and his family leaving isn't an option. He, I've, I've considered it. I've, uh, but the, these, uh, my line is here. My heritage is here. This, um, I know what you're saying, and I can't tell you. I haven't considered it, but no, I can't do it. If, if I leave. Uh, it'll be just as uh, just as bad as dying. I would be the Kresgov that ended the line. Um, so we'll leap back to the to the Abbey. 
Um, and it's exactly the same situation. So as you arrive, the mongrel folk try to uh, guide you through. And the abbot is still talking the Zilka through basic etiquette. And you're picking up on the fact that she is not getting any better. Um, she's, she's getting the, the, the fundamentals right. So she's, she offers you a drink as you walk through. But even the simple things of placing cutlery next to each other, she's, she's, she's fucking useless at it. Does um, the drink make it into my hands? Or, <laughs> yeah. Or, or oh, great Abbott, you, your, your wise teaching is really paying off here. She is making progress. And I just <laughs> lean or... forward and touch, touch, uh, oh, Nick on the shoulder and whisper a little, a little prayer to please let him convince him to give us more time, please. <laughs> <laughs> I whisper back over my shoulder, going, "That was a while to remember my name." Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so, at, at, um, uh, I'd like to think um, Harry Potter and the. Which is the one where he stays with the night bus? It's the third one, isn't it? Um, yeah. yeah. You remember the, the the manservant in the Leaky Cauldron? Yes. <laughs> so Vizilk is a little bit like this. So so she'll you know if if you're going to sit down, she'll just grab you by the shoulder and sit you down, and she's strong yeah. enough to do it as well. So she's sort yeah. of a little bit like that. Um. Uh, so he. She's not strong and she's got a testicle fork. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, so uh, the the uh, abbot will say, "Oh, dear gentlemen, you're visiting again so soon." It's still night time, you know. You haven't gone through the process of like settling down yet. Uh, tell me, how how fair is your night? We we have come up with a strategy to plan to get to Valaki to retrieve the materials for this wedding gown. However, unlike yourself, we lack the inability to fly. So, of course, we are nowhere near as fast as someone as grand as yourself. We fear that on horseback, two days would put us just too slow. Is there any way and I've, the family line and us would think very greatly of you and be in complete awe if you were to grant an extra couple of days in order to retrieve this gown in the best quality possible. We wouldn't want it to be rushed. If we yeah, get not to mention that, you know, that, that quickly. It might, it might it for a peasant, not for, not for a lady such as this beautiful creature you've created. So, d- nice. Enjoyed that. Um, you can see a complete roller coaster of emotions. You rub his ego and he's sort of like... And then you mentioned the fact that uh, there's an extension, and he sort of looks a little bit cross, and then you rub his ego. Uh, and he'll respond by saying, the mission was given in good faith, regardless of your kind words. Hmm. And he well, starts just... to think. Roll your persuasion. Just a normal roll. Okay, but I've got the guidance from Mark. Yeah. I did do that. Yeah, you did. Nice. Come on, get a three plus on the D4 just to make it extra sexy. 21. (laughs) Your words, however, (laughs) have convinced me. It's been a while since I've heard such eloquence and so accurate. I shall give you two more days. What a guy. I'll say to him, what a guy. (laughs) (laughs) Let's all sit in a circle and talk about me. Talk about me! (laughs) (laughs) Right, that's that's awesome news. It means we can um, can just take a a, a sedate journey. Is it a day, did you say, Dave, to get there normally? Uh, no, yeah. that's putting your foot down. Um, the, the thank yous as I back away from him are full of compliments as well. Yeah. Cool. Um, for, um, <laughs> if you rode hell for leather, you'd get there in a day. So from, from day rise until uh, a daybreak, you'd get there. But you your horses would be 
well, we'd, we'd probably need to make some rolls to see if they died um, type thing. Uh, first of all, mind of the spirit. Second of all, the second one's dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be a bit harsh, wouldn't it? Do you turn uh, into a fire horse? <laughs> why not? Might get, might get some exhaustion levels. <laughs> I don't um, want to ride the fire horse. So we're testicle. still planning a long rest or, here. Even better, it's a horse, but with the face of a goose. Yeah, that's a hideous amalgamation. Yeah, and with wings as well. <laughs> Does yours have stitches? Any tiny on ones, it, or is yours perfectly <laughs> goose-sized wings? <laughs> so, so the, the plan is a long rest here, and then see if we have dragon response to dragon mail overnight. Um, if not, we go for a ride in the morning and try and get the if dressing not, back. We have my horse, a, ho- a horse from the family, Which and is potentially a Ted. But how long can you maintain that, Ted? Uh, is it half your druid level? Just two hours, hours, isn't it? But if he's just hit levels, well, we're potentially up to three or four. If it's half druid level. He's now up to seven. Yeah, it's it's horse, not a lot, though. And the other horse will be a field plower, so it's not going to have any speed. It'll have stamina, but. It's probably best if you just go, Nick. I'd rather got, not ride across a, Barovia uh, alone. That. I went no, into a toy shop and nearly died, mate. His, his wife was willing to do it in the night. Matt, just, what are you playing now? <laughs> <laughs> I nearly died in a toy yeah, shop. And she's a, and she's a girl. And she's or a don't girl. go into toy shops while you're riding there. <laughs> If I go to Barovia, when I get to Velaki, I'm going to want to visit the toy shop. I'll tell, I'll tell, you, what, I'll tell you what we'll do. Um, it, it's about this time um, that, it, as, as you're plotting and planning this, sooner or later you're going to have to go for a rest. So you have a plan where um, Festa's going to uh, get some kip and then um, Rocker's going to sort of uh, take over. So during Rocker's watch, a raven comes back and lands on the window still <clears throat> and taps repetitively on the window to get your attention. Um, Rocker, obviously, you notice, notice it straight away. You you know the plan. Um, do, um, are, are you able to do anything yourself, or do you need to wait for Esther up? Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> speak, with, speak with animals, I think. See, is that the only thing that... I have communicate. Yes, I can... Oh. I have got. What's that closed down? Game log. Game log. Uh, spells I have. Do, 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 do. Speak with animals. So you have it. Okay, right. Yeah. Uh, what do you want to do then? What does the rocker want to do? Remind me again what the plan was. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he was trying to get the he dragon. He was trying to contact the blue dragon that we befriended accidentally. Uh, that, that. Could you send word to the blue dragon? We would kindly require. We've really sent the word. We've right. sent the word. This is the reply. <laughs> oh, this is the reply. What does the blue yeah. dragon say? <laughs> so you can't. You, you, you can't speak with that all. Uh, yeah, no, no, he's just saying it in common. <laughs> I, I basically just need a spell slot from someone. Trying to make a story for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've, I've cast it. Cool. Yeah. Um, so uh, the response <laughs> is uh, outside of time, uh, outside uh, to, to the south of uh, town, whenever you're ready. Ooh. Awesome. Uh, how much rest has Ted had? Um, T- Ted's had he uh, he's let, let's say by the time um, everyone else needs uh, another hour, Ted needs another hour as well. So you, you, you're getting close to sunrise. Yeah. 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 Well, uh, you will notice, notice that Jarrett's probably sat on the edge of his bed rubbing his head. <laughs> yeah. So. We don't need to worry about whoever goes getting killed now because there's a dragon. Um, 
So I reckon I'm voting, Raven. Uh, I'm voting Nick and R again as Mr. Charisma. Uh, to be the one who rides the dragon and tries to bargain for the, uh, you know, take some money. Does well, only seat to one? Stuff. No. Uh, first, first things first, then, uh, Jarek, let's have a constitution saving throw from you. This is day two. Yep. 22. 22. Yeah, it is. So you are running on, um, let's assume that somewhere in your pack you found some coffee or something. Of, running, uh, on hopes and dreams, running on hopes and dreams. It's <laughs> a stimulant, but the, you start to look rough. So I'm not going to give you a level of exhaustion. But right. yeah. I was going to say, at this point, is this where I've got the, the roles that we've kind of retconned or not, or to work out what's going on? Yeah, 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 yeah. that's fine. So I'm, I'm, I'm aware that, you know, I'm, I'm cursed at this point or something. I don't, don't, yeah. Um, yeah, so um, <clears throat> uh, outside of the village, um, are you all going? Yeah, I'll go with them. Okay, so um, to, to, the, to the south of the village, as you uh, as you uh, sort of leave the village, and you you know, um, so you've got four days. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, I'll make I'll actually make a note of this because you've got a timeline again. Uh, you make your way south to the Svalish Road, and you can see that there's a uh, part of the road that's been torn up, and it's an obvious sign from Tethex. He's pointed you towards the um, uh, a clearing to the south inside the woods. What's up, Ted? Something, something's tickled in. <laughs> just, just like, there's just a massive fucking arrow scrawled into the ground. So, <laughs> oh, you think, yeah, this way? Yeah. yeah he's, a dragon. He's, not, he's not used to being... Um... He's uh you, you go into a clearing uh, south south in in the woods and you can see Tethex there. He's made it made himself at, at home and he's he's torn some trees down. Um <laughs> and sh she will uh look up and oh, she. um say, uh, greetings, my fine friends. Um apparently you need me urgently for something. I'm so glad I didn't misgender the dragon. <laughs> so <laughs> out loud. <laughs> so glad. <laughs> Kick Fester. So you, you I'm gonna bow deeply. Okay. <laughs> um Jack's just gonna hang towards the back. <laughs> looking like death. <laughs> I tell yeah, him we're, like shit. <laughs> we're in dire need of a lift, as daft as that sounds. And I know it might be a little bit of a waste. Of your abilities, but if we don't, a lot of people could die, and you'd be doing us a massive favour. We uh, also need to go shopping. Okay, <laughs> okay. Um, and uh, my reward for this would be. Would you like? Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> what would you consider a acceptable? I've got a soul. I've got it back. <laughs> soul for sale, partly used. <laughs> have, you got, have you got the full service history? Be careful, owners. <laughs> mm. Well, the usual reward would be gold. So, Jarek's Jarek, only kind of half listening in, but at this point, he'll, because um, I've got everything in the bag. So, um, I'll tip a couple of. Uh, have we got a couple of gems? Though? Yeah, I've got a, I've got a bag of sorted gems. Apparently, there's, I don't know where it came from. So there's four gems in it. The entire bag's worth two hundred gold. Can we give? Can we start off trying to give him the costume jewelry? See what he thinks to that. She thinks to that. Let, let's let's not. We <laughs> won't. No. Um, um, two two hundred gold worth of gems done. Um, she <laughs> she sizes you all up and she'll look at Jarek and Nick. And she'll say, hmm. <laughs> hmm. Who's got the plate on? It's Jarek, isn't it? Um yeah. Is it yeah. 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 Um she'll look at she'll look at Jarek and say, Hmm, you on the back, you are the four, I shall grasp in my talents. Are you ready to I'll do it. take all of us, Jesus? <laughs> yeah, what'll do. <laughs> uh, just to confirm before we do take off. As gems are there and back. Agreed. 
Um, useful piece of information. She's gone. Um, <laughs> how's the? Uh, how, how, it's a lot of time though. <laughs> how's the Raven companion been doing? You got some good, good, good chats in. Well. Um, I do have news to impart on uh, my scouting mission. I can inform you all on the way on the way to Valaki, if you wish. Yes, that would be most uh, accommodating. Hop okay. on a dragon. Well, you're in the uh, core. I want. Uh, was that? Jarek, yeah. Jarek's hopping on the dragon. We're all in the feet. Oh, oh. I thought it was the other way round. Oh, so uh, I'm not. Am I? I'm, I'm like, oh, um, shit. On the bright okay. side, think about how cool it'd look to fire your bow from the foot of a dragon. Um, I, I don't think it'd be cooler from the back of a dragon. <laughs> it would be cooler from the back of a dragon, I, but this uh, Tethics isn't that big. I look ridiculous just swinging my sword, though. The, I'm hitting nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I've taken out a seagull and that's it. It's it, she's 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 not gonna break any speed records, but she can carry you all. Um, okay. So yeah. do we all need I'm to go? Rush me, I'm fine. I think. Do we all need to go? Do we any of us need to stay? Um, well, you've, we're abandoning the werewolf boy here for a bit, as long as you guys are comfortable with that. That's well, very you'll be back. How long will it take, Dave, to get there and back, do you think? Just just travel only without the shopping uh, time. Uh, um laden. <laughs> this is going to go Monty Python now, isn't it? And yeah. uh, a, a laden dragon can the fly. Europeans, well, uh, <laughs> the European. Um, <laughs> can get well, you. It's a small blue. To the outskirts of Valaki, carrying all five of you um, easily by sort of tea time ish, same day. She so then we just need to quickly do some shopping, um, though we can get back back by nightfall. She would suggest to you that she she would rather stay well away from prying eyes. So it would be closer to just before nightfall when you arrived at Valaki. Um, and she would wait for you. So that's one day, which would yeah. give you potentially two days to go shopping and then a di- day's with, fly back. With um, okay. Rocker's ability to disguise himself with anyone, as we land, can he disguise himself as Dale with <laughs> and um, start supermarket sweep? <laughs> Not Del Winton. What about the um, Lord Viseri that we met, who managed to get himself straight into the thing even after night? Because they don't let you in after nightfall. Although we're heroes now, aren't we? You're heroes yeah. if I like you. We're known. Yeah. Okay, okay. Never mind. We can just uh, go in on our own merit now. Any merit to me staying behind if you're going to be gone for a few days to look after? Jarek, Jarek, werewolf. With well, Rocket suggesting that Jarek's also considering staying behind purely because of how he's feeling, uh, and that you know, flying for a full day on the back of a dragon. <laughs> yeah, I can see why you. Yeah, but mine's less that. about being carried, although I wasn't so keen on that. But yes, I have a young charge here that I'd have to leave for quite some days to possibly go on a unnecessary journey for myself. So maybe I can help a lay the fears of the guy that's going to lose well, Jarek and myself lay the fears of the guy that's going to possibly lose his hold Yeah, and Jarek can get a rest during the day And we can um, uh, Jarek has other things on his mind but <laughs> take, I can take the the boy for some um, I don't know, manly Take for a walk Not on a leash <laughs> So that's why I'm thinking. Any objections to that? But that's I reckon that's what I should do. Furry pride. I would say I'm not one for the werewolf, but I don't think the because I don't care about the werewolf. But I don't think he should be left now that we've brought him into the party. Mm. Certainly for you know three to four days, um, and with me being by far the heaviest, and how Jarek's been had those last two nights, I would be inclined to want to stay here anyway to try and work out work on my problem. I okay, turn let's to go then. And I say it, it will be a shame to, to lose our best talker, but I understand. Isn't that you? Yeah, it is. 
so, you. If we're doing it that way, <laughs> so are, are we happy to split that and do as two separate runs? Two rooms. Uh, yeah, three of you go, two of the stay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, all we're going to do is go shopping. I might say hello yeah. to my sister so, for half an hour. On the grounds of us splitting to do that, do you guys want some gold to go and buy this dress? Because I've that got might it. help. Yeah, if you just give us the party treasure. Obviously, we're not still we'll only use we what we have. Bag. To. It's either that or someone stealing some stuff. <clears throat> can, we, can we have? Can we have the bag? Is that easier than us trying to find pockets for all the gold? Well, I can just give you the gold bag. If I'm transferring the bag of holding, I'm about to transfer the whole lot to you. Whereas the you can just have the gold bag, can't hey, you? Bag of gold, yeah. Is that's that fine, Dave? Is it is it small enough gold that we can just carry it? Yeah, it's not kind of an yeah. absurd amount. Yeah, it's, 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 we said at the start we're not doing currency like that. So, uh, so the party gold bag you've got seven hundred and thirty-five gold within it. That's not bad. You know. Hold on, inventory. So I'll give, you 700, I'll give you 700, Dan, just in case there's anything me and Rocker need while we're here. So you've got 700 gold. I'll drop mine down to 35 for now. How the hell did I do that on my other account? What? I made a checkbook. <laughs> oh, I've, I've just, I made um, a completely separate backpack that had gold in it. Oh, I've just done a, a, bag, in, in a bag in a bag. So. Okay. Right. You guys have got seven hundred gold for your shopping purposes, and I've taken I've n knocked the bag of gems off. Which I can't remember where those gems came from. I've got assorted random gems from all over the bloody. Planet. Being a geologist, I suspect they were dug up out of the ground. It's just, just <laughs> as a, well, a, a re just <laughs> well, literally speaking, caused by an exploding uh, star. <laughs> 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 Seriously. Nice. Thank you. Where did that come from? Um, uh, yeah. I found underneath our pictures there's a music button. That one's just to mess with Jay, apparently. Yeah. Music button. Under our name. <laughs> <gasps> found anyway, it. I think we need to ban the music button. <laughs> is that on is that on map tools or on D D Beyond? Uh Discord. Discord. <laughs> No, that's that one's really annoying. <laughs> get it? Come right. on, get it out of your systems. <laughs> I've been waiting for ages. To, I found that button about an hour ago. Um, I'm fairly sure we've used well. the previous session. <laughs> that's um, getting used. <laughs> what the cricket? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, there needs to be a honk instead, but. Oh, yeah, I was hoping the duck you could make it a goose because that would have been incredible. Can we move on with it? Yeah, sure. Um, so, uh, 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 what what I'm going to do is for uh, Jarek and Rocker because you guys are, are kind of out of it now. Uh, Jarek, you can take your long rest. You can. Uh, you, so you're going to rest during the day. You can repurpose your spells and you can also attune to your ring if you wanted to. Okay. Um, um... Yeah. Well, I was saying, I, I was on the first day we've got, I was going to go back up to speak to the abbot to explain the problem, to see if he had any input on it. Um, but just while I'm staying in town, I was just going to kind of go back into full priest regalia and go up in just my vestments and everything to actually sit down. And I, I don't trust him and I'm not happy about it, but just to, I want to go back up there with the symbol of the thunder on my chest, take the books that I've had of the priest and just speak to him as if, you know, almost a servant of the thunder myself, just to, I don't know what I'm trying to achieve or anything. Just, uh, yeah, I still don't trust him, but I just want to just run him through what, how it's, what's going on to see if he has any input to it or anything. Sure. Um, so um, in, in terms of, in terms of the thunder himself, is he, is he spots you in your full regalia? Um, uh, and you converse with him. He sits with you. He gets Vizilka to try and uh, serve you food, which she does, same as, I think it's Tom, isn't it, the waiter in uh, the um, uh, Leaky Cauldron? Yeah, um, yeah and she, 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 you know, she's just on the verge of opening your mouth up for you and then sticking a, uh, a, a, a chicken wing in your mouth and when, when the, the abbot corrects him. And he'll, he'll sort of say, oh, I, I, I recognise your investments as one of the iterations of the morning lord and he goes through the whole um and you wouldn't you would 
probably be a little bit aware of this as well. You'd know that. What do you know? Just give me a, a flat religion. Mm. Just give me an intelligence check, Adam. An intelligence check. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Morning love. Not not my strong suit. Nope. <laughs> no. So. What he does, he, he updates your knowledge a little bit about divinity in terms of prime material planes. So you, you're you're not aware of the fact that other prime material planes exist. You've probably been told, but it's something that just went over Jarek's head as you were thinking about military manoeuvres or chicken. Young boys. Who knows? <laughs> no, Mark. <laughs> um, um, and he will say that Lathander is one of the iterations of the Morning Lord. On your prime material plane, that's his manifestation, and you do serve the same, the same power. Um, he isn't familiar with Lathander, so um, he seems to be suggesting that he co he comes from another prime, or at least he came from Mount Celestia, directly from the plane, in the presence of the god, and he he isn't used to Feyrinian law. And the fact that he's Lathander. So he sort of educates you on plain law a little bit. Um, give me an insight check. Um, I'm going to set this DC relatively low. So, don't, yeah, nine is more than enough, though, dude. He is stark raving bonkers. As you yeah. spend the full day with him, he, th you get. Um, a proper god complex from him, which is something that you would not expect him to have. He is presenting his information as if he is the power. Um, he's presenting it as fact. He he is convinced that this his plan is what is required. Um, but he also gives you a little bit of background information to do with Barovia. He has been here for hundreds of years. He's had the living shit kicked out of him by Strahd on a couple of occasions until eventually he decided to oh, um, um, take a different tact. Um, and Strahd, in a different guise, visited him on several occasions. Um, and it was only after he he realised that this this guise was Strahd that he started to go properly insane. And as he realised, he was now trapped here. And this celestial creature of goodness is trapped in a realm of evil and it has twisted him. Um, and you don't believe he is entirely good anymore. Yeah. That, yeah. Okay, that's fine. I'm, I'm quite proud of that. So the, the only even slightly point where I might challenge his views, because I say, with him being mad, I certainly do not want to provoke the, the mad bastard. <laughs> in any way. Um, so I'm not going to, so I'm just going to question his threatening and to wipe out an entire line. I, I understand we need to stand against Strahd, but you, that would, that almost feels like trying to defeat evil with a lesser evil act. He um, he gives you he gives you very much a, um, um, a Spock answer. Um, the oh, what's what's what is it? This the Spock's the needs of the many. The needs of the few. Ne needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Um, the and, and he is convinced. Um, I mean, he's stronger than convinced. I don't know if there's a word that's. I don't know if you know a word that's stronger than convinced, Mark. But. Um, um, Adamant, adamant, yeah, he's adamant that this will cure Strahd, cure Barovia, and set the yeah, demi plane free. Yeah, it's, I'll, I'll focus more on the fact that I agree that I'll, I'll actually agree with. Though I'm not sure if that w it will work, I'll agree with him for the sake of that. That you know that sounds like, but threatening to wipe out a family just for would you not have been better going to them and saying, can you? do this and in response I'll raise your son rather than raise your son and then threaten to kill them if they didn't help it feels okay so so, that... so I'm, 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 ask, I'm not challenging him I'm asking him to try and explain his logic in this yeah so you I, I, underst I understand where you're coming from but that is going to annoy him and you know okay. it's going to annoy him um, to the point where he just sort of looks 
squarely at you. It, I'd, I'd like to think he does. He does sort of like he looks at you out of the corner of his eye, and his eyes fix on you as the rest of his face slowly turns to you, and then his head turns cocks to one side. And whatever he's holding, let's say he's holding a, um, a like a, 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 a silvered, uh, yeah, why not a beetroot? And it just smashes in his hand. And he and will he look at Jarek in the eye, and he will say, "How dare you question?" So at that point, I will apologise profusely and say that I've not slept for two full days, and I'm concerned that I'm under a curse as I have the howling dreams in my sleep. Okay, roll persuasion. <laughs> I said we left the talkers. I said we left the talkers. You are forgiven. Do you have any other business? He will say. No. You um, yeah, I'm <laughs> you gibber. Um, no, I will. Uh, as I said, graciously thank him for accepting my apology, and that I'm going to, you know, go and pray and see if I can work out what what is stopping me from resting and what is causing me to, you know, be like this. Okay, sound. Um, right, let's leap, let's leap to the other lads then. So without the extra weight, you managed to get to Vallaki, Um just after, yeah, um, so let's say 3 p.m.-ish. The shops are still open, good. The shops are still open. So you land... Well, they... Sorry. No, did you want something? I was just going to say, while, while, the, while the lads go to the shop, I was just going to go and nip and say hello to my sister and check right. everything's all right there. Bear, bear with them. So you, you land outside um, uh, Valaki. Um, as you approach, you um, you notice one distinct difference. The guards on the wall, you've noticed before as you approach the wooden balustrades around uh, Valaki. They're tall, well-built walls. The guards, there was normally two. Now there's eight. And they're all wearing red uniforms. And as you approach, there's a cheer. Um, and one of them says, go and fetch, go and fetch um, the, the barons. Some of the heroes of uh, Valaki have returned. Hooray! And they let you in uh, without any ceremony. And word comes back. <laughs> yeah. um, word comes back that the baron is currently busy. He is in the town centre uh, attending um, a series of uh, executions, uh, but he has uh, asked if you if you come and join him with all haste. Mm, I don't like the fact there's executions. No. Oh. And this sentence is finished with "all will be well," and you're gestured in to the town as the gates shut. All will be you. well. Um, so, th- the only th- the other thing that you notice about Valaki that seems to have changed since you were last here is every fourth or fifth person is now wearing red of some that description wasn't the case before. no um and that person is armed whether it be armed or armed and armored whether it be with um a, either a sword an axe maybe sort of a farming implement that's been sharpened maybe a helmet maybe a breastplate maybe some kind of pauldron or something but there's a lot more what you would think of as security in the town than before. A lot more. Um, The town itself, as you're walking through the streets, it's quieter. There aren't people about. And if there's someone walking along a street, they are, let's say two people are walking along the street, they are followed by someone who's wearing red. And the town is very, very quiet. Right, let's go to the shops first. Get the, get what we need as nope. quickly as humanly possible, and then go. And... No. You go to the shops. I'm going to the execution. I'll go with Johnny Talky Pants. The the town square is where the shops are. Um, so you are oh. kind of all heading in the, the same direction. Um, <clears throat> Yeah. Right, well, I'll just pop in the shop and get the order. What does, what do we need? Yeah, are, yeah. are the shops open, seeing as there's an execution going on? As as you as you're walking through town, um, you you do occasionally pass people, and as as they 
no one's meeting your eye um, apart from the, the, these people dressed in red. And every time someone passes you by, they, they all just say to you, all will be well, citizen, all will be well. And then occasionally a guard or one of the militia will recognise you and, and say, oh, the heroes of Lucky are here. Um, to the town square, to the town square. But we, we, we've heard that the barons requested your presence. So as you approach the town square, everything's still quiet. As you walk yes, through the street that leads to the town square, the town square opens up. There's a, a, a fountain in the middle where all the shops are around. You, there was the coffee shop that you, that, um, you all sat and watched uh, Axacast before running backwards and forwards as, as he was looking more evil as he was getting his, getting his kit. Um, all of the shops are closed. The doors are shut and there's signs up to say closed. But as you walk down this avenue to get to the main town square, you can see almost all of the town are in the town square and you start to see people in a crowd surrounded by these red uniformed militia and over their shoulders you can see you've seen it before they were uh, the setup as stocks but there's now on this stage a platform there's lots of figures that you'd recognize the Baron is there. The Baron has his two dogs, and he is surrounded by henchmen. Um, you, uh, Morrigan's there, Mark, and she's yeah. on the stage, and she has an axe casually slung over her shoulder. Yes, yeah, um, excuse me. On the stage with <sighs> hoods on are there's about a dozen or so figures, and they're being led one at a time towards the executioner's block amongst their number you recognize that the first one to be brought forward is ernst if you remember ernst was the um lady vokta's man she he was the fellow that was spying on you when you yeah. first got to Valaki. and the the hood is pulled off um and uh, the Baron reads out the, this proclamation um, of of treason, and um, he's he's put on a block, um, and Morrigan starts spinning the axe around as if she's going to go and behead him. Before this happens, you notice behind these other hooded figures. There's quite a few hooded figures. There's the two Vokta sons, you notice they've still got the hoods on, but you can see their clothes underneath, and you recognise the two Vokta boys. You recognise Henrik, the Undertaker. You recognise Father Lucian. You recognise Gertruda, and you recognise Irina, amongst other people, scheduled for execution. What do you want to do? Oh, God. Turn to Festa. <laughs> Part of me wants to go send for the dragon. Because um, <clears throat> that's that's how we solve all our problems now, get the dragon. Um, <laughs> it's a viable option. It is. Um, seeing basically our only friends in Barovia, we can't, what is the it. meaning of this? Against what charges we are leave? these held? How, how long have we been away for? Hold up, I'm just going <laughs> to cover up Jim's camera. Has he finished? Um, sorry, Dan. <laughs> how long, have we, how long have we been away for? You've been away from Valaki perhaps four or five days? We've been gone not but a... How many days are in a week? Is it a 10-day or...? Yeah, no, no seven. Faerun is a ten day. <laughs> oh, if I'm from Faerun, we've been gone half a week, <laughs> and we come back in. It's, it's a, like a place we've never been before. What what's happened? Okay, so to this, the Baron will look up um, as he's reading the proclamation, and Morrigan will sort of wave cheerily. Uh, Axacas, and then give give da, uh, Nick a wink. Um, and, I forgot about that. <laughs> um, the Baron, the Baron, as he looks up, is outraged. 
by your uh, interruption. Um, Just you wait. And you can see up. Uh, right. Well, for, first, let's let's address something. Have you called the dragon? Yes. Did. And how? Do we, we want? said to Ted. By the way, as we were walking Ted before, I shouted it. So. <laughs> okay. So how how are you going to alert the dragon? Summon the dragon. Well, we're going to be trying with a raven again, I guess. There's no ravens about. There's a lot of people here. There's ravens up very high up in the sky. <laughs> so they are there, at least then. They, yeah. How big's the crowd and how long would it take me to get somewhere where they aren't? Um, you are still in this avenue where there aren't many people. Uh, this is before uh, Nick's proclamation. So you, uh, 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 as it stands, no one is, no one can see you. Right. So we've seen who's been lined up. We've not quite been to the point where people know where we are. No. No, we've 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 backtracked a little bit. Yeah, so I could possibly. I've go got an idea. There, just slightly quieter. Get on one of the roofs and try and get a raven from there. Okay. Go on, Mark. Just be, just before he sets off, I'll just say to everyone really quietly: if we can convince him that, I mean. You know that, that Strad himself has interest is interested in these prisoners, and it would be was, very dangerous for him same, to proceed. Yeah. I was thinking the same. Um, I think that we could we could go for a charismatic bullshit because he's a weak little snivelling shite, and I don't want to kill my sister today right. if I can avoid it. Um, <laughs> I, I'm guessing we should have Dragon on standby, though. Yes. Okay, <laughs> so uh, F Fester does his, does his thing. It's not going to be it's not going to be much of an issue for you to. Um, what, what I'm going to have to do is move it forwards a little bit. So Fester does his thing, gets on. Um, or Axa casts out. You know, you, you have your sort of little debrief. Um, Fester does his thing. Um, so that's going to be uh, animal. Um, speak with animal, Ted. Um, yeah, yeah, um, and. In the time it takes you to do that, to get back for the raven to fly off, um, th the scene in front uh, is is going to mean that uh, Ernst is beheaded in this time. Yeah. So before you you interrupt, I was. My plan was to say that to Ted and then interrupt. Okay. Case, yeah, right. Sure. Let's do this beforehand. Yeah. It was a yeah. okay. Fine. Um, so, as long as everyone else is fine with that. Okay. So you you so do you, you 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 say your piece, and the Baron looks up at you. So it's now you and Axacast stood there. Um, so sim exactly the same as we were, and the Baron looks annoyed as he turns towards you with his proclamation. Do you wish to continue talking then? I'll I'll send a little message to uh, you know telepathically saying tell him that you know tell him he needs to hold fire because you know the you know, the prisoners are important to the to Strad. Yeah. No, you've done all that, Mark. You've done all that. That's oh, we've fine. done all that. Yeah. The, right. So I'd asked him what's the meaning of we've been gone for half a week and right. Um, what's going on? He he'll say uh, well uh, oh it's uh, and he sort of rallies a little bit after he looks annoyed and he'll say oh look. The heroes, the heroes of Valaki have returned. Welcome, gentlemen, just in time. Um, thanks to you, there is no one to oppose my rule and my laws in my town. These are traitors. The Four last count. of the Vokta line needs to be wiped out. I am going to put a little hand on... Um... Next shoulder and say a little prayer that he doesn't fuck this up. <laughs> okay. Your town. You know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> and then I kind kind of close my there. eyes and loud enough him to hear say, "My lord, he seems to believe it's his roll. town and not yours." Nice. Nice. Um, okay, so he looks a little bit confused by this, and he'll say, "Yes." And I put my I put my finger up. As you wish, and then I open my eyes and look at him and say, "Release them on the command of Lord Strad." Okay. Go on, the mate. Um. Uh, okay, so uh, this sounds like intimidation to me. Um, uh, so you can have a D4, and I thoroughly enjoyed that, Dan. So you can have advantage, and also what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the DC. Okay. Um, so you've, you've heard what he's saying to you. What he's basically done you've opened the doors for him to have supreme power in Valaki, which he's taken advantage of. Um, and you're trying to undermine this petty despot. So I'm very quickly trying to think of a DC that would be appropriate. Bearing in mind you've got advantage with your extra D4, and I'm going to say 17. And you wanted intimidation. Ah, uh, yeah. Advantage. Would, would it not be more intimidating with the uh, dragon behind him? Twenty. <laughs> I was just about to say to Jabo, I don't know how that went. You could be having new party yeah, members. Roll. <laughs> you've, you've done it a few times tonight, gentlemen. I've, I've, as I was planning the session, I had not planned it for you to get back to Valaki today, but uh, I'd, I'd planned this ahead of time. But you've rolled really well tonight when it's been necessary. So you've properly flummoxed the Baron as he's holding this declaration up. And he will say, yes, no, yes, my, yeah. How then? Patron. Pretty much. Um, <laughs> he'll say, of course, of course. Of, of course. Um, yes, no. Um, t t tell, tell, tell your master that uh, his his will will be done. Get them down. Get them down now. And he snaps his at the guards. His will be done. <laughs> the, um, uh, at, amongst the other people on the stage as well. So that's both of the Vokta boys, Ernest, Father Lucian, uh, uh, Gertruda, and Irina. And there's also the little bugle boy. As well, that kept mucking up his trumpet playing. He's he's yeah. he's there as well for some reason, and they're all <laughs> quite the code. Not him. <laughs> yeah, no, you can kill you can kill that prick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's shit. <laughs> yeah. He... So I, we understand why you've got him there. <laughs> <laughs> so they all sort of they're all manacled, so they're all shuffling, um, and uh, the the Baron at this point he will say. Um, out loud, and again, he's very angry at this, and he will say to them later, he'll say, right, that's the entertainment over with today, get rid of them! Um, and he's pointing towards all the, yeah. the, the villagers, and they look petrified as they start moving off as, well, as far away from you and the Baron as they can. To try and back up on that really good roll that that, uh, that Nate made, I'll just, just lean over to the Baron and say, oh, you have so done exactly the right thing. It says, you know, the, the, I don't one know. Of, particularly that one of those, one of those prisoners in particular, I don't know what he would have done. Probably, I, oh well, put it this way: you've done superbly. Couldn't have asked for any, any better. This is the reason we came back was to warn you about about this, and you've you've, you've sorted it. You've done it brilliantly, as we always knew you would. He he, he sort of scoffs at you a little bit, and he says, "Well." well to be interrupted in this, in this manner is most. I mean, I, I mean, I'm. Um, so Morrigan at this point she wanders over and she'll slap uh, Axa Cass on the back and she'll say, "Brother, it's good to see you, but you really do know how to spoil my fun." Say so sorry. We've yeah, we've. Um, I'll I'll relay the lie as as we've told it. Okay. Can, can <laughs> we potentially find out? 
if he has anybody else lined up for his entertainment. I think that um, he would put them all out today, unless it's actual criminals. So who um, who are you going to ask that after? Oh, um, Mark's sister. Morrigan, yeah. yeah. She will say, um, not as yet, no, um, these prisoners, and by now they're sort of walking up to you. These uh, the, these were the, 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 the first batch, really. These are the ones that we've rounded up. There's plenty more to execute. Don't worry, we'll get to them. Um, and the, the Baron will sort of say, right, they're, they're all yours now. Um, um, and he huffs off. He's he's gonna he's gonna leave with most before of the he, militia. Before he huffs off, yeah, I was going to kind of do my misty step teleport and kind of vanish in black smoke and appear right behind him. And in my best Strad impression, <laughs> saying, "I am watching. Do not try and undermine me again. But I want to try and sound like Strad." Okay, let me what? see if I can help. I'm just gonna see ah, if we, ah. yeah, I've got spells that can do anything. Um... <clears throat> oh no, it's only on me. I can change. Maybe, oh, no. maybe yeah. just bite his neck as well. <laughs> <laughs> just <to> sell it. <laughs> so that's going to be a perform. You know what? You know what? I'm not even going to ask for a roll, Dan. Uh, everything that you've done is pointing towards what you actually, as you appear behind him, you hear him fart a little bit, and then there's a dribble of water on the floor. <laughs> Um, and he sort of that nods and bows, and he'll say, and then he just re- he's gone, he's out. Okay. Yeah, nice. <laughs> uh, good work. Uh, you can. Have, I don't know if you've got inspiration, but you can have inspiration, mate. <laughs> That's yeah, well, well worth yeah. it. it. Was that was a good show? Um, um, yeah. So you, you're getting the impression that um, he's he. he uh, yeah. Well, you've you've got the impression. You know what's happening now. Um, so Morrigan will sort of say, well, fun over for today, then I'll best go and find something else to do. And she's going to make a way I'll out just, as well. I'll just, I'll just pull, her one, pull her to one side and say, we, we, we've got incredibly urgent business, so we'll have to, have to leave, but just just hang in there. You know, I'll, as long as I'm alive, I'll be back. Okay, go on, Ted. Um, we're probably going to have to chuck the dragon some more gold. <laughs> he didn't do anything. No, no, no. He didn't. He didn't. Does, it, does, do it, anything. does it matter if, if if she didn't do anything? We, we, we never asked of... her to do anything, though. So as far as she's concerned, she's just like waiting for us to uh, be done. No, no, no. The, the Raven was said uh, we had her on standby. Yeah. <laughs> so let's. What, what we'll do? We'll, we'll finish. We'll finish the Morgan. In fact, we'll we'll we'll. Wrap well, I, I think out of just consideration. Yeah. We'll we'll wrap up the dragon thing first. So the Raven comes back, and and it and the Raven will say, "Ready? What's the plan?" Um, so, so we're going to need to wait till we can get in you a shop. You can't talk to ravens. I can't talk to ravens. <laughs> you, I mean, you can. Uh, but they'll just look but they don't understand funny. what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll um, be quiet. <laughs> I'll uh, just say, um, yeah, thanks for the response. We, we seem to have sorted out the issue without any uh, interventions necessary. Sound. We'll see you shortly after we've um, just yeah. Yeah. into the so, shop. Blitz is off. Uh, Mor- Morrigan, be- before she does actually go, she's going to turn to you and say, well, what is your business in uh, in town, Umbrella? Uh, well, apart from just to uh, alert the Baron to the <clears throat> interest in the prisoners that we've discovered, um, and I'll, I'll actually be completely truthful. I'll say, look, you're not going to believe what we're here for, uh, and I'll <laughs> tell her what, I'll tell her what, you know, the the truth about what we did, what we've been doing, and what we're doing now. Okay. Um, she'll 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 not look even su- remotely surprised, and she'll say, "All oh, right, no, the uh, the Baroness has got a wedding dress. Yeah, come with me. We'll go and get it." Is that all right? I'll say, "Superb, thank you. You, <laughs> you are literally uh, our saviour. Thank you." And I'll uh, yeah. Go on, so you just told her that a mad angel. Has asked us to get a dress. Did for... you mention it was a mad angel, or did you no. mention it was the abbot? No, I do. I, I just, we've we've been tasked to bring a wedding <laughs> just, dress. 
I just want to know the, the details. Well, when you said, yeah. I'll tell it's it everything. really badly. Well, the reason, everything about the reason we're in town to get a wedding, which is to get a wedding dress. <laughs> that's all right, then. I'm just, as long as we <laughs> didn't go with all it. All of that's bullshit. <laughs> we're not with Strahd. Forget that. Kill them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> A mad angel has threatened someone's family line unless we get him a dress for his made-up person. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not be telling people that. No, we're not going to the mad angel thing. Uh, it's just uh, if, if she asks what you know, who's behind this, I'll, I'll just say you know, sure you, you know who's behind this. We don't ask any more questions than yeah. we have to. Okay. Um, so um, you uh, you go with? Are you going with Morrigan back to the to the Baron's house? Um, no, no, I'll uh, I'll well, no, I will to get the to get the dress. Yes, yeah. Um, so it's the the, the Burgermaster's mansion. You've been you have been there before, um, uh, and as you arrive, um, there are there's guards surrounding it it's you know there's perhaps 10 maybe 12 guards and they're all stood around mostly the entrance mm. um uh, but morrigan um <laughs> so don't put with her i don't think no well this is this is where i'm t- it's going to sound like i'm i'm sort of fast forwarding here a bit but morrigan is in charge you have morrigan's ear and there is. This is where the bridal dress is. It's. 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 If you need to know, I'll, 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 when, I'm when sure we finish no the campaign, if you look at um, the Valaki, the the Burgomaster's house, entry N three P bridal gown and spirit and uh, and and mirror, it's literally there. So Morrigan will go in and come out with this bridal gown. And is she'll it say, a good one? Yeah, it's pristine. I'll she'll, say thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. We'll be go. We've got. We've got to get going as quickly as possible. But as I as I said before, I'm not going to forget about you. If I'm alive, I'll be back. Okay. And then the, we'll get off. The, the other thing that we need to we need to cover is what are you going to do with the captives? Well, I'd have. Hopefully, they've been released, like we said. Yeah. And me and yeah, Bess but we can't be leave them in the village, can the we? Church. No, we'll. Take we'll walk them. back to the church for starters, and then talk to them there. Yeah. Okay. Well, that somebody... Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sorry, I'm sort of I'm I'm flipping across him. We're going to get Father Lucian to come with us, though. He must want. Yeah, he, he must know that he's going to have to leave the church, doesn't he? Otherwise, he'll be dead. I mean. <sighs> so what's what's going to happen is, um, Axacas goes gets the gets the the gown. By which time, I'm sort of fast forwarding out a little bit here. You all get back together as you've managed to free all of the. You, you take the binds off, uh, you take the hoods off, um, and you're all back together with the bridal gown in the town square. And it's mostly Father Lucian and Irene, uh, Gertrude, if you remember, she's sort of a slip of a girl and she's mostly yeah. quite sort of like whimsical. She's in her own place most of the time. Go on, Ted. To... It's Lancelot. Yeah, let's go. Did you, forgive me for asking, did you leave Lancelot in the church? Yeah, he was with... He was back with Gertruda. Yeah, he's back in the church. He's still in the church. Marvellous God, there's going to be some He was the first one on the block. We missed him. (laughs) (laughs) No! Dragon would have attacked. Dragon would definitely have attacked if that happened. (laughs) Raise the village. Um, So... um, they're, they're between them, the, the two Vokta boys and all of them, they're going to tell you the story about when you left and that the vacuum of power had shifted. Um, the Baron just, the, the first thing he did on the, on the first day is he, he went from door to door and insisted that all uh, males of a certain age uh, were, join up and he gave them red uniforms and threatened them with, with just death unless they, they did as he, he insisted and because he hadn't got Lady Vokta to oppose him there was there was no one to stop him so he within a day he took over the whole of the town within two days he, he'd organised them and we're on to sort of the, the, the point where he's managed to round everyone up and everyone who disagreed with him um, he also arrested so he was aware of the fact that Father Lucian, Henrik, 
the the two boys that that, that were the coffin bearers they were there there as well they didn't necessarily object to his reign of power but he knew they were something to do with a, a, a shift in power they were um an uh, a, a problem that he needed to get rid of so he just decided no one's no one's going to oppose him so he's going to execute those with and, and accuse them of uh, being traitors along with everyone else um so <clears throat> This is as you're walking back to the church. Uh, the church itself is unharmed. It's still um, whole. Um, he hasn't executed the church. He hasn't executed the church. Um, Lancelot's there, and he jumps up and and uh, he jumps up on Festa. Yeah, he's all over Festa, and Gertrude's there with you as well. So, um, are, we, what, are we going to get everyone back? Is the next question because it's going to take more than it. Is there any way we can stop on route? Because we have got time now. Uh, can we, well, is there any way? Is there any way we know that we can get to you know, with people? You know, we've got no way to speed up the uh, the prisoners. They're just going to have to walk with us. You know, we'll um, what about the vineyard? The, is the, that on the way? No, but the wizard's tower is Ted. Okay. Oh, uh, that case superb. We can we can stop. We can spend the night there. That's safe. And and more the man who can do the people there, obviously as well. It's, it's the people we're concerned about. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, it seems like a, a relatively decent plan, and plan as well. And again, I'm, I'm trying not to fast forward too much or cut any decent role play out, but you need to hold up for the night tonight. You need to rest yourselves. Um, the church is there. You can all rest up in the church. First light set off back. You'd get to... I was talking to the group as to... Like, where's the end goal? Because do we want to go to Kresk? Because my fear of taking them to Kresk is we have this delusional angel who is trying to wed a stitched together version of Irina. If we take her to Kresk, is he just going to take her and send her off as the bride instead? I wasn't on about taking them to Kresk. That's why I was asking about the vineyard. Because I would have thought that they yeah, would that have would be that into would the be vineyard instead idea. of yeah, Kresk. Yeah, because they. Because I don't. I pay, don't think Kresk is the place place to be, take them. They're probably people we can trust with them. Yeah, I agree with Ted. Yeah, that's. In which uh... case, do we also want to go and talk to Unwin, and because he doesn't know we've actually resolved the thing with his father and saved him, so we can drop that information off. And see if there's anything he can send to kind of give us some more staying power of letting them stay stay there. Whether it's Unwin comes with us to kind of see his father again. and It's only Irene that we need, actually need to hide. The others can... Mm. You know, the others could go us. to Kresk. So it'd be much easier to convince the Ravens just to take... Irene in because I mean yeah you know, she could yeah obviously... and the only other the other concern though is Father Lucian of how's he going to handle this angel of his masters that's gone completely insane and corrupted we'll need... the Morning Lord. We need to we need to speak to Jarek about that. I think I have no I haven't got the knowledge. So I think the best thing we could do is before before we take him to the Abbot, uh, <clears throat> we take him to Jarek and see what he has to say and if he thinks it's not a good idea we'll have to do think of something else so at that point do we send someone back just a single one of us on the dragon or do we have the dragon flying kind of overhead and within sight for yeah, if anything kicks off it can yeah, help us on the road a, that's a good idea actually um because it's not it's not giving us a lift back but is it there for if we get Stopped by something on the road. Yeah, it's a dragon and that's an armed that's, escort. Yeah, um, I think Once that's again, a plan. Though, that is going to cost us money. Oh no, because we asked it uh, asked for it to fly us back. This is it flying us. No, you've just asked for it to be an armed escort. It's not flying anyone back. Yeah, but that's we've paid I, for the flight I, back, so we yeah, can no, ask it to do. I that. think out of out of courtesy. Is I already think we should give a 
money for potentially being on call. Well, I think we'll give her Let, let's give not... 100 gold out of the party treasure if she asks. I wasn't thinking that much, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I think just think just out of other one, other the, one, the, uh, keeping her keeping uh, it on our there, side. Give her the gold we were going to spend on the dress, you got the dress for free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yes, that's what we're doing, Dave. Um, so, we don't have a cart hit. Did we take the cart with us to Kresk? Yeah. So, we'd need, we need another cart. There is probably a cart in the village. Maybe, maybe, to um, we've got we've got half, money and we've got a group up ending. Maybe one of them have a cart. I mean, we've got the fucking Voctors. Let's go see the stems family. while we're here. I've got a dragon. <laughs> okay, so let's let's go through one at a time then. What, what's first port of call? Sleep. Sure. Long rest. Uh, done. No, sorry. First, yeah. Did we want to go and talk to Unwin tonight and just let him know about the update of his father's? Okay. So. Yep. Uh, so the inn is sealed as you get there, uh, but you knock on the door and, and uh, Unwin, uh, you, you sort of, um, you are aware of the fact that someone's watching you um, as Unwin opens opens the door. He says, "Quick, come on, get in, get in, get in, get in." Um, uh, and he says, "What's? Well, it's good to see you. What the fuck is happening?" So because I've looked and someone's watching to make sure he, people don't think. He's part of our group and he's going to become a suspect. I just kind of knock on going, Innkeeper, are you still open for a drink? It's been a long day. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, sh- sure. Come come on in. And he opens the door. Um, let, lets you all in. Um, he'll say, what has happened? Three, three days ago, the whole town just... I, I've no idea. For, I, I, we've been sealed in here. No one knows what's happening. I'll be honest. I don't think you'd believe us if we told you what <laughs> we've been up to since we left you last. So, what can you tell us about what's happened in the town? Well, all all I know is that everyone started wearing red. Uh, the the Baron turned up, and that uh, oh sorry, uh, and he'll say to Axicass, he's not here, so it doesn't fucking matter. Um, and that witch said, um, we, we need to take. I managed to t- tell them that you know we're here to provide a service. We all need to operate and function as a family to to stay here. So she didn't take my boys, but she threatened to take them as as part of the militia. And then that's it. No one no one's been for for a few days, and we we thought it best just to to board up and hide. Understandable. Um, seems like. The Baron or whatever he is has gone a little bit power mad now that the the balance of power has swung his way. Okay, we think we might have been able to uh, convince him to behave for a while. Do you think we need to leave? Probably. The what we've said. We'll have staying power for a few days, but beyond that, okay. Who knows? Well, we do, however, have you know the possibility of a few very lovely locations where you might want to resettle. And I'm predicting the question you're about to ask. Yes, one of them is a lovely winery that is now mm. back in charge with a healthy family, up and running again. Okay, and looks... guess what? They also they also need some people to help them run it. This uh, this is wonderful news indeed, in, in despite everything else. So you've spoken to my father, and you've managed indeed. to that. That is great news. Great news indeed. <laughs> okay, um, could I trouble you to escort us? Our to. plan was, and I look around to make sure that that figure isn't now peeking through a window. <laughs> um, our plan was to escort all those the Baron attempted to execute today. Um, escort them to the winery to relocate them to a safer place. So, of course, if you would also want to relocate there, 
that would be perfect to join the escort and talk to your family and explain why these people require their help. Okay. He'll, to this, he'll say, well, yeah, I understand what you're saying, but my father will not house other people, family only. We we are a secretive family. We have things that I don't, Would your I... two sons like to marry a young woman and an old cleric? <laughs> and they'd be family. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, it, it, okay. Once he figures out what you're on about, or at least once the DM figures out what you're on about, he'll sort of chuckle and say, "I, I, I wish, I wish it were different." You have to understand, this is Barovia. We've existed as a family in Barovia for a long, long time, and the reason we've done that is we've been careful with who we trust and who we help. We, we of those people, yeah. understandable with your situation. Uh, would you not be able to have them bordering your land at least and set up their own small settlement? Okay. So at situation, he raises his eyebrow at you and he'll say, I don't know what you're on about our situation. But why has everyone stopped? I'm waiting for Ted to I'm carry on. I'm not sure if I'm there. I, I, was, well, I, <laughs> I made a change for you to check. <laughs> I, I, I didn't think I'd mentioned a situation. I thought that was done. Okay. Um, was it? He, uh, I, I'm pretty sure you said situation. Yeah, you you, you did, Ted. But it's, 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 were you alluding to the situation? The uh, ball. I mean... Or were you alluding to the situation of they needed to get out? Well, I thought that's what you did mean, that it was to be the situation with the... the yeah, people. not... Yeah. I mean, the, the I situation. also know that situation as well. Yeah, but... sorry, that was that was me assuming. So he, he, you can tell when you've said situation, he sort of took, took a bridge a little bit, and he will say, listen, listen, lads, you, you know we, we do what we can. We provide... Our family provides the, the lifeblood of Barovia. The only way we've done that is to keep our secrets to ourselves we operate as a family a tight-knit family if you've if you've managed to help our family you're probably considered one of us but even so we can't tell you all of our secrets and we can't allow people we can't allow outsiders to stay with us understandable and asking them to stay with you per se you but your other suggestion to <sighs> To the south, there's nothing but uh, druids and wild men. To the east, there's swamps and uh, ruined villages and hags. Uh, there's marauding scarecrows. There's undead walking the land. There's wolves, werewolves, there's vampires. Tools. Would you rather stay here and see these people dead? Can we not take... We can go. We can go to to my father. I can try and make peace with him. Wouldn't the only other option for people that aren't family would be uh, the other villages? Uh, there's there's nowhere else. Now I un I understand that you will not divulge any information. You speak of family secrets. I don't need you to confirm it, but your father and you can check with him when we meet has let us into your family secret. I don't need you to confirm it. Of the people we are escorting, one of them in particular, we, we have contact with Kresk, and we could hopefully house the majority of the people we take with us in Kresk. However, one of the people that we do take would be in potentially mortal danger if they were to go there. And if they were to go there, would aid 
the being that your family have wished not to follow. One person. One person. A dog. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. No. No, the dog would go with Gertrude. One, one. I, I could discuss it with my father. That's the best I could offer you now. That sounds reasonable. We leave. We leave in the morning. Okay. Do you have we? We have. Do you have a cart or anything we can take? We have a cart. We have a cart. Well, it we needs fixing. We can do that tonight. No horses. We've got a track. We've got a track. Oh. Good news. He's not there. Gee. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> um, so, um, um, he'll say, we'll be ready. We'll be ready in the morning. Um, tell us where to meet. You, you arrange a rendezvous with him. First light. He's going to be there with a cart. He, he can drag the cart to wherever you want, but obviously he's going to need help, either pulling it or attaching to it. Um, well, I'll come to you in the morning, because overnight my plan is to prepare, summon steed, and summon my horse Brilliant. in the morning. Okay. He will, he'll say, um, I don't know if this will help. Bear with me a second. He disappears into the back and comes back. Um, and he says, this is, we haven't got much in the way of treasure or rewards, but this is what we do have, and it's now yours. You've earned this. And he'll pass you a, um, a, a, small, a small chest. Um, in this chest, um, is it like twenty, you know, twenty-three A, maybe? <laughs> Stop squeezing it. Um, <laughs> so, um, and I'll I'll give you this identified as well because you're going to be able to have a long rest, and and Axicast will be there. So it, there's a hundred and forty electron pieces, which is half, isn't it? So seventy gold pieces. Seventy gold pieces. There's seventy platinum pieces. Oh shit! Hold on, let me do some maths. <laughs> just, just put it in DD. Well, I've got to add it to the party gold. Uh, Not his own. Uh, okay. So, 70. Ooh. It might be in the bag, and we can sort it out later. It's, just how have... many platinum pieces were there? Yeah, 17. how many platinum pieces? 17 times 5. Much... No, 17 times 10, so it's 170 gold. 70 platinum pieces. Seven, oh, zero. 700 gold. That's worth it. That's awesome. Um, there's also that's two, a lot of dragon fair. Two elixirs of health. Nice. Has anyone not? I've got one on me. Is that like a healing potion? I say not, it? not quite. But there are three potions of healing. What do the elixirs do? Um, elixirs get rid of um, Jesus, conditions. I'll have to double check. Oh, that's a very valid point. I don't know if I've added it all to our party, the party bag I've got saved in my character sheet. And then when it comes back to me, we'll sort it out properly. Um, and there's one other item. There's a grey bag of tricks as well. What's what's that do? Oh, is that where you pull out yeah. random animals? Yep. Is that a bag oh, of rats? Yeah. It's not a bag of rats. It's a bag of tricks. You could get an elk or you could get a badger. I've um, got to, that's that. got to go to Ted, would, uh, Ted, would you like the bag of tricks? I really would. <laughs> you, you really get would. A panther. <laughs> you can get a panther. So elixir, yeah. elixir of health. Um, uh, it cures any disease afflicting you. It removes blindness, deafness, uh, paralysed, and poison conditions. Very nice to have in the bag of holding. Oh, so, uh, well, well, how many do whilst, we have? Uh, two, two elixirs of health. Three potions oh, of healing crap. and one grey bag of tricks. Yeah, we'll sort yeah, those all yeah. out when we're back to full party, but yeah. Yeah, that needs oh, to be yeah. spread across the party, not just That's... in the bag of Yeah, the healing potions want to be spread out, yeah. It's where we're for the walk, we have one each just in case. <laughs> yeah. So if um, we each add a, a potion of healing. Um, me the three of us. That's a lot of going back on the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Put the dog on the dragon. I'll stay with. I'll stay with you, Dad. <laughs> um, 
so where are we up to? We're quarter past ten, so we've fifteen minutes to to wrap up the, the the session for today. Then let's get it. Let's get everyone. Okay. Uh, no, we can't really fast forward too much, can we? You wake up the next morning. Happy with that? Yep. Yeah. So you've got oh, three yeah. days oh, left. Oh, oh, oh. I've lost my inspiration then. Uh, no, you can keep it. Okay. Thank you. Um, spells, I need to change one so I can put my horse on. Uh, Just for resting at the other end with me and Rocker. Um, I'm going to let Rocker know I'm struggling to sleep and Rocker's gone dark. There you are. <laughs> I'm going to let Rocker know that I'm struggling with sleep and everything. So I'm going to try and power through the night and try and rest during the day because mm. that's what works out be the thing. Um, and then I'll be obviously memorizing Remove Curse in that sleep. Sure. To yeah. then fix myself for the. For, so that'll be like two days' time. I'll be right to go back in normal sync. And you, can, you can cue the lycanthropy as well with that, can't you? Uh, if they're willing. If they're willing. If they were willing. It works out. They've got to be willing for it to work. If, if not, it turns them feral, wasn't it? Potentially. They go back crap crazy. So I'm not going to suggest that path yet, but I've got the option at the moment. We could talk about that next time. Yeah. As long as you keep the spell there, uh, just in case. Okay. Um, so th uh, that's that's happened in Kresk. So the morning in Vlaki, you wake up at the in the church. Um, the Martikovs, Unwin and uh, family, are all loaded up, ready to go. Mm -hmm. Um, their mega mega possessions on the cart. Um, what's the, so it's going to be cast the spirit horse. Yep, so that's my second level spell slot used. Yep. Um, attach it and then off you go, and you're heading towards um, the wizard's tower first, wasn't it? Yeah, the first the, night. Like... The, yeah, so you can get to the wizard's tower for the first night. Um, uneventful. Um, so rest. That takes us to two days remaining for delivery of the gown. Uh, anything else we want to discuss? Because nothing else is untoward is going to happen to you in this time. No, so, I'm do, good. We want, do we want me to actually take the dragon to Kresk straight away with the dress, just to make sure we know yeah. it's there? That's, that's a plan. Potentially, yeah. Um, uh, me, me and that's, Dan and, uh, that, that's the really with, important with the thing. Group. Yeah. As much as I am somewhat yeah, part, concerned part about of the thing is then here's another idea. You take the dragon to Kresg and deliver the dress and bring the other two to the winery and all meet up there. That's a good idea. Yeah. And a nice place to start next time. Happy? All happy with that? I'm happy. Yeah. So Jar Jarek and Rocker would, well, assuming that that's the plan and it all goes, you you're happy for that? Yeah. Ed, Ed, I'll I'll um, be giving okay. uh, Lady Dragon like at least twenty five gold. Uh, she'll like she'll she'll up. take it. Like um, yeah, knock, just knock that off the party. We'll give it. Yeah, give it your back. Um, of, yeah. yeah, undeniably uh, help it. So just for the uh, yeah, just yeah. for the, the standby. So I'm gonna I'm gonna iron up a few things. Go on, go Question. on. Where, where's the dragon putting these gems and gold? Uh, it, it just swallowing them for now. <laughs> hasn't, it, hasn't it changed into its humanoid form? Because then they've got clothes that just disappear oh. with them. <laughs> well, no, <laughs> unfortunately not. Um. Um, uh, uh, yeah, perhaps tucking it in a wing or something. I'd, I'd like to think. I'd like to think that it'd be able to regurgitate it and and, and, and hide it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Shut up, Adam. Um, <laughs> um, so, what I'm going to do then is iron out a, a, a few right. things that need iron out. First of all, you're going to present the wedding dress to the abbot. Um, all I'm going to say to you is it, it's very underwhelming. As the abbot takes it from you, he's, he'll sort of say. Oh, thank you very much. And then it will just <laughs> just turn around. Best and, Elvis in person. For the best. <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> and, and, and he'll put it to one side, but he's still can, he's still coaching Bazilka through the finer points of etiquette. 
but he doesn't say anything else to you. Um, and it gets to the point where you sort of stood there expecting something and it becomes awkward. So you just leave. Uh, it's, it's just a simple case of that. Um, unless you wanted to do anything else. Well, I've already wound him up once. I'll leave it for that for now. I've not so, got the excuse anymore <laughs> of being tired. Really myself. Well, you've got all your, Jerry, all your items now, can't you? Who, who was it that flew back to us? Sorry. Me. Master. Right. So I assume we get the full story and they're like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> Oh, I'll, I'll happily relate the whole story. You're in the wrong place. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know where I am. We've <laughs> got we've got a posse on the way that we to uh, find we're, places for. We're going full wagon train now, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. I'm with the wagon train. I've remembered where I am. <laughs> yes, well done. Uh, um, did did we want to ask the fucking crazed angel what his thoughts on the dress were? At least, no. I'd, I'd say leave the mad bastard alone. Yeah. yeah. Stay, stay stay we've, we've Before no we leave, though, um, with with hearing this, we'll obviously need to talk to the person that runs this place. I to tell him we dropped the dress off so he should be safe, and that we might have some refugees that need homing. Yeah. Okay. So get some sausage rolls yeah. in the oven. Um, so uh, as you, as you say to uh, Kreskov, he's he's elated. He'll say, "Oh." I can't begin to thank you for what you've done. You've you've saved my line. You've saved my boy. You've saved my town. Um, yeah, no. I, um, I'm, I'm, they'll need to pass the usual tests. They'll need to, you know, they'll need to uh, uh, touch the holy water and blah blah blah. Uh, yeah, but I'm yeah, no, we can, we can, we can uh, take your people. Um, I'm not there. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then. Anything else we need to iron out? Okay, Mark. I'd I'd have been speaking to um, Father Lucian on the way. Yeah. Find him. I won't say there's a crazy angel, (laughs) but I'll say that where we're planning to go, there is the abbot. Was it him that told us about the abbot? A few people told you about the abbot. I'm sure he knows of the abbot. Um, so we'll say we'll take him there, hopefully, to safety. However, things around the abbot, he is of the Morning Lord, doesn't quite seem fully himself. Okay. But do not question, do not anger, because okay. he is incredibly yeah. powerful. Sure, no problem. Um, yeah, it, it takes it's, 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 it's Barovia. He's not. He's not even slightly uh, uh, alarmed by that. So you guys, uh, dra- dragon you sorted. Guys. You go. The, the, the dragon will um, at, at some point will have told you that she's been scouting to the south. She's not found anything of interest yet, but she is aware of that. There's something out there. There's something in the skies, but she hasn't it's seen a- it yet. She's heard it. And she's wary of it to the south. Was this? Was she telling us on the way to Valaki or the way back? Oh, she's gonna. She's gonna. Well, she'll mention it to all of you, so it'll become a knowledge. Yeah. So we won't have so to go. I'll over have the, mentioned uh, back. Yeah, yeah. We tell have you all. Seen yeah. The hag, hag Did in the sound like No, no, it's clocking. not that. It's it's oh. a winged something or other, way south in the mountains. Um, so much so that she didn't want to go there. But that's the only bit that she hasn't scouted yet, and that's the bit that she is going to investigate next. But I'll tell her to be extremely careful. She is going to be careful. Don't you worry about that. You worry about that, son. Um, uh, um, um, anything else Obviously, we need to iron yeah. out before? Yeah. So, que- question for you then, gentlemen. Um, you, you're all you, you're at the winery. Um, the, introductions have been made. There's sort of a, a meal laid out for everyone. Um, we do need to go over a little bit of role play because um, the Martikovs aren't going to be happy to house everyone. You mentioned that perhaps just Irina would need to stay for now. That's fine for now, but it's a temporary measure. Um, so that takes us to next session. Um, we'll just iron this out because I'm, I, it's nice for me to be able to prep something a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, what what you're thinking is the next step? Have we resolved just... everything here? No. Like this is this is to have 
Uh, uh, what from the winery? You've revo- resolved everything at the winery We've that you winery. Have we resolved what we wanted to from Kresk? Other than taking the refugees, if we need to, pretty much. I mean, that, I, I think there's a chance that somehow we're going to have to deal with the abbot potentially at some point in one way or another. Um, but I certainly don't want to kick the hornet's nest right now. The only thing we probably could do with finding is when he intends to turn over the bride. Could yeah, that, could be a fairly yeah, major. Nice uh, that's a that's fairly timeline thing. thing. Yeah, just so when he's planning to turn the bride over, or how he's planning to turn the bride over. Um, if he'll tell us, I mean, I'm I'm kind of thinking Jarrett probably shouldn't go back because I've already pissed him off once, um, and I will, you know, let the group know that I've uh, somewhat wound him up, um, but managed to talk my way out of it. So that's probably the only thing in Kresk is maybe to establish when he's planning to hand that over. Other than that, I think we live and let live. He's not caused any havoc in the last five hundred years. Let's not upset the apple cart when we've got more stuff to deal with. I'm down with that. He is also red... somewhat placated now, though, with how yeah, exactly. So that's the thing. Let's let's not wind yeah, it up. So probably yeah. phenomenally hard. Did, did <laughs> we have anything we want else we wanted to resolve in this area, or is this now the time where we can head back to the the Dusk Elf Sword and the Amber Temple for me and Marks? Yeah. yeah. Sounds like a good shout, really. I mean, that's that's the only. I can't really think of any other like side quests or bits that. I think we've done it. We've done the corner. wizard's tower. We've done the winery. We've done Kresg. They were the three jobs to do on the way up this end, wasn't it? Yeah, it's just south now. Is that the, that so it's the same area that the dragons got to be scouting? That she's scared that there's something in the sky. Is that where the Amber Temple was? I thought she, it's just the only place we've not been. Was the Amber Temple to the north? Uh, no, the Amber Temple is... You, you, well, you... Bel- I, d- oh, I can't remember what you've been told and what you haven't, so I'm the, not going to confirm anything the just Dusk yet. Elf, the Dusk Elf said he knows where it is and he's going to take us. Yes, he did. Yeah. Okay, what I'm going to do then, I'm going to... I'm, I don't want to railroad you, but well, you... Just to... Go on to... Sorry, on, so yeah. just, just to say, we'll, we'll, at some point we're going to have to decide what we're going to do with uh, the little boy. We don't want to leave yeah. him on his mm-hmm. Todd in the jail cell. Um... Yeah. I don't think there's anything else we needed to. That, well, that oh, we need to sort out scary. permanent permanent residence for our, our, our. Is it Irina? Yeah, but we've got temporary. It's how it's how long temporary is is the question. That's the bit. Yeah, the bit. they're not they're not going to be pleased. So we need to sort that out as well. As that, that's why you know if we if we could do with finding out when the bride goes because the bride's leaving the village in three days. Irina can go to the village in three days because the abbot's not going to turn her over in the place then. So yeah, okay, right. So five five minutes left. Let's let's try and wrap this up so we we, we know what we're doing. We're going to start the episode off by having a quick chat with the uh, Martikovs to see who's going to stay where. You're aware of the fact that it, it will only be Irina that's staying. The rest are going to have to go somewhere, likely Kresk. You're going to have a quick chat with the abbot, um, and then we'll figure out where we're going from there. The, the only other bit that hasn't been properly investigated yet is the, the hag that turned up in the skull. Yeah. yeah. Um, so she turned up, and the skull upside down had this green glow to it. Um, during during dinner with the Martikovs, and I'm just going to throw this open to you: is they uh, when you say green glow, um, um, uh, Davy and Martikov will say green glow. That she's got it. She's got our gem. It's in Beres. Um and he will tell you about. Um, uh, the hag that is south of Argenvostholt. Um, the haunted mansion of Argenvostholt is where the revenants are um, operate from, which is something that you haven't done yet. To the south of that oh, is, a, is a ruined uh, village. Uh, Rumour is that uh, Strahd in a rage decided to turn the... the raise the river and it turned all the land into marsh that's where the hag resides if she has one of their gems and you get it back that's another field that's another crop of wine uh the vines that they can grow again and they would ask you to retrieve the second gem from the hag you yeah, well, that sounds like sounds like leverage <laughs> if, if they don't want to take the uh we can help them out if they'll look after Irina for a bit. 
sort of thing is what I'm thinking there. Mm-hmm. So is that effectively what you're saying there, the two options, and you'd like us to work out now where we want to go with it? We, we, we've help. got... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you've, you've, you, you haven't really, other than... The, the the problem that you guys have is the the, the revenants haven't you, you've only had minor dealings with them and they've been kind of helpful but yeah, you've got you've got a cleric who is against anything to do with undead so you would be potentially trying to enlist the help of undead that goes against everything that Jarek stands for so Argon Holt holds particularly yeah happy so, with undead so Argon Holt really hasn't got much for you. Um, well, we'll, we'll not but as go Nick, there as... I would want to help retrieve the gem because yes, it's leverage. But at the same time, as this magical sword that we need to defeat Strahd, that the sooner we get that, yeah, the easier it is to deal with this hag that's flying around in a giant skull. Okay, so shall we say sword is next is the next port of call, and then that... use that. For for a gaming term, power up to potentially then go after. Yeah, I can see the validity of that. And uh, we've just got you're attuned to your items now, aren't you, uh, Adam? You've got your your ring and what else did well, you have? You yeah, I'll, I'll you wait till next session for that bit. So for the okay, yeah. um, right. So, uh, gentlemen, uh, let's level up to level eight, shall we? Hey. Oh. Oh. Okay. Jeez. Yeah, I was expecting that. Uh, yeah, it's it. Some serious. Um, You've done. I mean, like I say, it's it's uh, it's it's milestones. We've done. A, we've covered a lot. Um, you haven't finished uh, Kres. You haven't finished Valaki. Valaki's all of it's still open. But you've done enough for me to say, well done. Uh, let's make you guys a little bit more powerful and make it harder for me to kill you. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so if you all want to grab your, your hit dice, roll them now, and then um, level up at your leisure, and I'll, I'll look for another date. Too. Yeah, I, I think, Dave, because of looking at the levels and this only going to 10, unfortunately, I think it's going to be Paladin for the rest, and it's just going to be that one level of Warlock. It's up to Which you, dude. Yeah. So what? Um, once again, Dave, where do I roll my dice? Um, Dave, I've rolled a one. <laughs> oh, I got a two. Great. Woo. Right. Hold up. What? Right. Um. Um. You're rolling d6, Mark. Are you? Yeah. What did you roll? A one. I also rolled a one. So re-roll. Right. I rolled a two. So don't roll a two, me. Or a one. Yay! Rolled a two. <laughs> Reroll. I oh. roll a four. All right. Three, so four it is. Four. Right, let's... How does this work, Dave? Sorry. So, uh, uh, right, so what we're doing is we're both rolling your hit dice. If we roll the same, we re-roll. If we roll differently, whoever rolls highest, you keep. Okay. So that's four. So, so um, hit two, gotcha, Adam. I'll be there. You've got five, mate. Um, Ted, all you're doing is just custom roll D8. For your druid level. Oh. Seven's pretty good, dude. I rolled a four. Take seven. Yes, come on, Ted. That's uh, the best I've ever had. <laughs> yes, well done, mate. Uh, Jim, let's do yours, D10. Uh, Two. Two. I rolled an eight. So take eight, and then you're saying ten as well, then, uh, Dan? Yeah, I'm going Paladin. Okay. Ten. I rolled a seven. Yeah, that's that's a good starting point. I'll take, I'll take the seven. Okay. Um, it's plus constitution, isn't it? Oh, we just level up and D &D, put in the... D&D &D be able to do it for you. Just put it in your in your rolled. Um, so have, if, if I can ask you, gentlemen, to have your characters leveled up for next session. Um, if you just drop a note in, in the, the group text to say you've done it, so I can have a, just have a quick look over to see what I'm up again. Hang on, um, how do I change my hit points? Um, if you uh, 
Um, it's dead simple, Ted. If you've gone up your level, all uh, you're doing yeah, yeah. is going on. You press the blue box that says manage hit points. Hold up, I'll tell you what. We've, we've finished the session, so we'll turn this lad off. <laughs>